Whoa. Whoa. We're live. What's up, guys? And tonight is uh, the 40th anniversary of the death of J.R.R. Tolkien. And so uh, we are going to play some Lord of the Rings, War of the Rings. Yeah. Whoa. I'm Tom. I'm Jay. And we are going to start playing. Let's roll the intro. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! All right. So yes, rest in peace. Rest Tolkien. in peace. Rest in peace, Tolkien. All right. So, um, what are we doing in this crazy game of Lord of the Rings? Because it didn't take us forever. So I might as well go right into the how to play. Um, but first, we did play a starter game of this. What, yes. what were your first impressions of the starter game? This game is a lot of fun. There are a lot of rules, and it is long. If you can find the time and you're a Lord of the Rings fan, it's really worth your time. This is a fun game. It is just kind of a lot to learn. So, you know, have fun watching us do it. All right. Um, so let me here. Let me turn this off really quick. All right. Let's get started. Let me um, say hi to you. So here is our map of Middle Earth. Whoa, <laughs> we have Middle Earth things going on. And um, and basically, we are going to start, or you're going to start, up here in Rivendell, yeah. where the uh, where the elves' home base is. That's where Elrond, the elf Elrond is. Uh, Agent in, Smith. Agent Smith. Agent Smith <laughs> is, is watching out for us right now. Mr. Frodo. <laughs> right? And so... Um, what we're gonna, what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be working your way this way, hopefully, to get all the way to Mount Doom to put the ring into the Mount Doom and to try to destroy the ring. So that's one way that you can win the game. Another way you can win the game is by controlling two, no four, four, four strongholds or four, um, I guess, victory points for yeah. war and strongholds. Are two points each so you really only have to control two strongholds to get four victory points uh that we see on this right. victory point track down here but you need to get 10. i need to get 10 victory points which is kind of crazy but we'll see how it goes but as you can see um i did not end up painting the the shadow player pieces but i did paint all of the free people's pieces and we're going to talk about them in a second but um i think the the main point here is that I start with a lot more pieces on the board. So yes. it may be easier for me to start getting uh, these victory points sooner than later. So that's called a military victory. So either of us can win via a military victory if we end the round with, if I had 10 victory points and or you have four victory points. Right. Or the other way that either of us can win is if uh, we mentioned if you were to take little Frodo. And yeah. Bilbo, let's see. <laughs> Frodo and Sammy, best friends forever. <laughs> oh, we're going downtown to drop the ring in the volcano. volcano. The volcano over there. <laughs> um, so you got Sam and Frodo. They're going to come down trying to get the ring in the volcano. They also have a special fellowship, a friendship, if you will. <laughs> oh, Patrick's here. He says he's a sticky bastard. What up, Patrick? Hey, yes. Mike. Well, this is going to be three hours long, so we got to get this party started quickly. Um, so we have this oh. fellowship started by, or, you know, the first friend of the fellowship is good old Gandalf the Grey. Yeah, buddy. So Gandalf is going to help the fellowship. Um, so everybody that um, is in this box over here is, is the uh, fellowship of the ring. And so there are nine total fellowship people, including Sam and Frodo. Uh, as a start, so you're gonna have your Gandalf, you're gonna have your Boromir. Okay. Oh yeah, show the pieces. Good... Whoops. That's There's the... Boromir, not Boromir. That's I'm sorry, king. that's or... that's Strider. Strider. Uh, that's Aragon the King, baby. Yeah, Aragon, Strider. Then you got Boromir. Horn of Gondor. <laughs> All right. We know what's gonna happen to him. Yeah. I need to take a miniature that has arrows and then put the arrows in his chest. <laughs> Just to remind everybody that he's a dead man walking. <laughs> And then you have good old Legolas. Yeah, Legolas. 
my glasses is ready to kick some ass. And then you have Gimli. Yeah, the real hero of the movie. <laughs> What's up, Gimli? Oh, he looks oh, great. Oh, my, you have my axe. Yeah. You have my axe. My axe, Mr. Frodo Baggins. And Just then you keep, got right. And then uh, you have the two completely worthless people. Uh, <laughs> Mary and Pippin. Mary and Pippin. <laughs> they did things, I think. Mm, that's right. So. They did, I'm trying to think giant. of what they did actually. Like, what well, they? They, um, they got on the, with the Ents. So oh yeah, they helped. They helped they with helped. The, the tree thing. They helped get Isengard back on track. And then they got drunk and high and ate more food. Right. Those guys were dope. Um, so that's the fellowship. They're all in this fellowship box over here, ready to um, help the fellowship. So as the as you as the you have uh, one thing called the fellowship that you can move around the board. Um, but at any time you can break any of these people off and just let them do their own thing. And then they're not part of the fellowship anymore. And they have special cards over here that you can use mm -hmm. that will give them special abilities. Um, the other thing you're going to be controlling are the free peoples of middle earth. Yeah. And so the free peoples constitute, um, five different races. So you have the good old elves. Whoa. <laughs> We're coming to kill you, Sauron. <laughs> you got an elf there, and there's oh, that's the Northman. Yeah. yeah, you're just picking people randomly, right? No, no, you said you wanted oh, whatever. Uh, so you got the elves, you got the people of the north, which are your your guys that are in Bree and brandy wine and all that kind of stuff. Whoa. <laughs> And then you've got the um, the dwarves, obviously, who are the furthest away from war. They could care less. They're in <laughs> their they're in their minds, just trying to get some get that money, son. Get that money, get, exactly. Get those gems. Get that gold. And then you also have the oh yes, the riders of Rohan coming in hot. That's um also known as Judge Dredd in 3,000 years from now. Yeah. Writers of Rohan. So these guys are um, part of the kingdom of Rohan. And then you also have the Peace de Resistance, the fighters of Gondor. For <laughs> Gondor! Whoa! No, those paint jobs are great, man. They have a little tree. The tree of Gondor. All their shields have the tree of Gondor on them. Yeah, man. Oh, and you see the armor on the neck. That looks dope. Yeah, so they're pretty cool. And so every um, every one of these factions of yours has what they call a leader, and the leaders always have these little flags on them. And then you also have an elite. An elite are normally riding horses. Uh, sometimes they're different models, but I think in your case, they're all, all your elites are riding horses. Yeah. And yeah. then you have regular dudes, and the regular dudes are just not on horses. They're just regular dudes. With a uh, little Gondor tree shields. All right, so um, here's the lowdown on the difference between leaders, elites, and regular units. So the sorry about that. The nice. leaders are. Um, So regular units and elites are the same thing. They, they give you one combat strength in combat. But the leaders, anyone with this little flag on it, yeah. um, or if you break out anybody from the fellowship, and they are, they are technically called companions, but they have the powers of leaders. They can lead armies as well. And um, the leaders don't add to the combat strength. But they allow you to re-roll stuff in combat. So if it, as many leaders as you have in a, in a battle, that's how many re-rolls you'll get in combat. Right. And the leaders can move around as, as well as the armies can move around. So you're going to want to build armies that have a combination of regular, elite, and, and, um, and leaders. The, and the major difference between regular and elite is elites have two strength, two health versus one health of the regulars. Right. All right. Now, um, I have a little different because I basically all of my regions, I basically have the the armies of Sauron, which are in Mordor. And these guys are basically just all orcs. So I haven't really painted them because they're just orcs. 
Then we have the Easterlings and the Southernlings, which are basically um, these guys with elephants and things. Uh, and they're, they're kind of down here in this Easter East region. And then Sauron actually has a couple of areas, uh, one up here and one up here and a couple of areas up here by Moria that he's just hanging out. And then there's Isengard when this, yeah. this is Orthanc, the home of the home of the white wizard. The home of Dracula. Yes. Christopher Lee, I remember his name finally. Oh, some of these pieces look great, man. And so, um, oh yes, here he is. Da -da -da. Saruman. Dun, 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 dun. Saruman <laughs> is on the top of Orthanc. <laughs> Oh, he did. He did. Just like in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So yeah. So this is the this is the White Tower, and this is where the White Wizard will say. Now, as the Shadow Player, um, I am basically going to have to bring him out. So he's not available to me yet. And also, there's the the Lich King and the Witch King. I should say. I keep confusing the Witch back. King. Yeah. The Witch King <laughs> and the Mouth of Sauron, which will be different stuff that will come out in time as well. Um, so those are my, I have three basically races. There's the races of Isengard, the races of Easternlings and Southernlings and the races of Sauron. And all of our races are depicted on this political track on the right, because we need to be at war to be able to fight each other. And also our, um, races need to be active. We need to be activated because um, you'll notice most of your races, all of your races on the top, the dwarves. Yeah, they're just chilling out. Yeah, so this is dwarves, northern people, the elves, the Rohan, and the Gondor. Only the elves are active. The elves know Sauron's coming. Right, yeah. The elves know he's there. So <laughs> um, they're active already, and that's why they have their colored side up. But everyone else is inactive. So you're going to have to be running around basically spreading the word that Sauron's here to get your guys activated so that way you can actually start recruiting troops for war yeah otherwise you guys are just watching hulu or something and not really caring about anything oh, and i'm just going to come storm through you we're going to see we're going to see i have it i'm thinking of uh based on how we played last time there is a clear military advantage on your side and that's kind of the yes. point there is like a trade-off with uh my side there's more little like mechanics oh the elven rings Ah, uh, yes. The Elven Rings are a great mechanic because, uh, so there's three Elven Rings up here. Um, do you know what the names of the Elven Rings are? Uh, I do not know. <laughs> I know I know Galadriel has one of them. I know Galadriel's is called Nenya. And yeah, that's the Ring of the Adabat, which is just diamond. It's like the Ring of the Air or something. And uh, the Red Ring is the Ring of Fire. That's Nilia, I think. And that's at the end of the Lord of the Rings. Uh, Gandalf actually gets that one because oh. he's... Uh, fire person but anyway during the game the three elven rings start with the free people's player yes and you can use any ring that you want to change a die face to anything that you want when you're doing action dice however when you use the elven ring then it comes to me and i get to use the elven ring and they go back and forth that way so yeah okay. so you're gonna want to be careful of when you use your elven rings or not so what we're okay. going to be doing then on this in this game is we're going to be rolling these action dice and the free people only get four action dice whereas the shadow gets seven of these crazy dice and each dice has a face on them that does different things so i'll just go through each one so anytime you see um uh, for me it's this kind of uh scimitar sword but you have a normal sword on your dice yeah so the, yeah so the sword action there you go is what they call the character action. So when you have this action, you can do a couple of different things. You can move any character you have on the board. So for me, I can I can move all of my Nazgul. <laughs> I can move all of my Nazgul anywhere on the board. Um, and Nazgul can fly. So I can, I can use them to move armies adjacently, or I can just fly them anywhere on the board that yeah. I want. I can also, if I have Saruman or the Witch King or... Um, the mouth of Sauron out, then I'll be able to also use this die to activate their special powers as well. You, as the free people, though, have a bunch of other stuff you can do with the character die, mainly moving the fellowship. You're going to want to uh, move these little guys from where are they at? Oh, yeah, they're here. There they are. 
Sam and Frodo sitting in Rivendell. Dun, dun, dun. Um, so you're going to be wanting to move these guys, basically, like we mentioned in the beginning. Yeah. Um, through, um, down towards <clears throat> which some kind of pathway that gets you to Mordor. There's only two ways into Mordor, either the Daggerlad entrance or the uh, Minas Morgul entrance. And whichever way you come in, that will be, as soon as you cross that path, you'll be on you'll be on the mountain and you'll start a five-step <clears throat> journey climbing the mountain to the top. And if you get to the top, you get the ring in and you win. Insta win. But... Um, during that time, if I ever find you, if I use my eye, and uh, that's another thing, one of, one of the shadow players' die face is the eye of Zora. Ah, I see there. you. There we go. I see you. <laughs> so um, when I roll this, it just goes, I can't actually do anything with that. It's going to go down here into this hunt box over here. And anytime you move the fellowship, I'll get to roll however many dice I have in the hunt box to try to find you. And if I find you, then I'll kind of know where you're at, but I'll also deal corruption to you. And there's a corruption track over here. And if I can get 12 corruption on you, then I win the game. Okay. So you're going to want to manage your corruption by either letting some of your companions die so they take the corruption or not. Or maybe you'll want to... Um, Reveal yourself to friendly towns to reduce corruption because when you reveal yourself in a town in a city, you're going to activate those people and you're also going to uh, basically heal yourself of one corruption. My starting corruption is zero. Right? Starting corruption is zero. Gotcha. Yep. Um, but the other thing you're going to want to do is um, when you get to Mount Doom, you're going to want to make sure you have hardly any corruption. So while you're managing your way down here, you may have a bunch of corruption. But then you may want to heal in Gondor or something, or sit around in Gondor and keep revealing yourself to heal so that way you're ready to go into Mordor. Oh, so you really know where I am. Come get me. Right. Uh, okay. All right. I think that sounds, that sounds pretty cool. Yep. So some of the... So if they get over here and they announce that they're here in... Um, what is that? Uh, is that uh, Helm's Deep or... Uh, this is Minas Tirith. Minas Tirith. Yep, and this is Gondor, basically. So if you came here and announced yourself, then you would activate Gondor. Immediately. Immediately. And it would go down one of the political track. And then if you did a one more muster die, you could make Gondor at war. And then you can start mustering troops for Gondor. And Gondor okay. can okay, start, dope. Can oh. start uh, getting more people out here than the measly. I mean, Gondor has probably the most units in the whole game for the free people. But they are not at war. Or they're not activated, so you can't. You yep, and that's that. incentive to you for you to not attack me. Right. Just, they just yep. go around and fuck with me. All right, all right, all right. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. The other action that we can do on our turn is... Let's see what we got. Uh, there are two symbols here. One is like a little... I guess this is upside down, sorry. One is like a little crown, and one is like a little banner. The banner is an army action, and the crown is a muster action. And if you have both of these on one die, then you get both actions. If I just have a, if I just have a crown, then that just means I can muster. And if I just have a banner, well, I guess I don't have just a banner. I just I can muster, or I can <laughs> muster and uh, army action. But that is the way that you can mustering is how you get more troops out onto the board. But since you're not at war, when you do your muster action, it's a way for you to get your guys down further on the political check so they're getting ready right. for war. Okay. But once they're activated and they're at war, then you, with your muster action, you can start getting more troops. Okay. For me, I can start doing muster actions right away because all my guys are activated already. All right, cool. I just need to get them at war. Huh. Um, and then the other thing that you'll want to do on the dice is what they call the palantir action palantir is the is the all-seeing eye that's basically like oh uh, that's like that's the ball that's the it, ball from sauron's that's tower that's the ball from Sa yeah. sauron's tower yep so um the palantir action i'll see if i can show the picture yeah so this is your palantir if you get this action that means you can um play a card as a with a wild symbol on it, or you can draw a card. And so the whole game, we're actually going to be um, drawing these cards all the time. And there are diff two different decks, uh, a character deck and a strategy deck. And each one of these cards, I'll just draw a card to, to show you real quick. Doo -doo 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 -doo. 
Ruling for two. So each card basically has a symbol on it. So I would need to play a crown dice and an action dice with a crown on it to be able to actually use this card, right? So if I had this action, I could use this card. And if I use the top part of the card, um, then I can do what it says. And a lot of the, these cards are basically rule breaking. So they'll, they'll do stuff extra that you couldn't normally do. But also the bottoms of the cards have a thing that'll happen during combat. So you'll always want to check to see, to use these as combat cards as well. If I played this Palantir action and wanted to use it to play this card, I could just play this card. I don't have to worry about having a crown. This is basically a wild symbol to play any card you want. Right. Or I can use it as a symbol to draw a new card. I can just draw a new card from from either of the decks. Right, right. Okay. And that's pretty much it. So, uh, and thanks to our handy dandy cheat sheet, we know that basically all we're going to do on our turn is we're going to either do a character action, which is going to move our characters around the board, or for you, move your fellowship. We'll do an army action to move our armies around the board. We can do a muster action to, to get new armies on the board, or if you're not activated, you can only use it to go down the political track. Um, you have to be at war to recruit. Basically. Right. Yep. Okay. And then um, if you want to do the Palantir, you can grab a card or you can play a card. And um, the special is the Eye of Soren, which is for me. And you have a Will of the West, which is like a wild that you can use for anything. All right. Cool. All right. So let's talk a little bit about strategy real quick. Really... The shadow player wins this game, I think, mostly by getting the 10 victory points. So I'm really looking at capturing your strongholds and or or cities. The most common cities and strongholds are, are in Gondor or closer to Mordor. But I also want to kind of stop you from getting the ring closer down to here. So I'm going to maybe be wanting to push troops up this way as well. Um, I'm looking for easy cities that are strongholds that I can probably take over pretty easily. So Isengard is a great way to span out because there are, um, there's obviously Helm's Deep that has one guy sitting in here and he's just like, Hey everybody, I'm just, uh, I'm just chilling in Helm's Deep and Helm's Deep happens to be a stronghold worth two victory points. So that might be, not be bad to go after. That's a target. Also you have Edoras here, which is the, um, you know, where King Theoden is and worm tongue or whatever. That piece of shit. Um, and that's a city. So that's worth one victory point right there. And there's a stronghold down here. Uh, Dola Amroth. That's two victory points. So I'm looking for ways I can chain some strongholds together to get some, so I, my 10 victory points if I can handle it. But I'm also going to be wanting to put my dice in the hunt box to try to capture you because the more I can reveal the fellowship, the more chance I have to do give you corruption. And that's probably the easiest way for me to win is if I can give you 12 corruption. Yeah. And, and so you're going to have to manage moving the fellowship and not getting corruption. Uh, probably the hardest way for the free people players is getting the ring to Mordor. Um, but if you can really manage not getting caught by me and moving a really long space, I think the shortest path they said is this way, which is basically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So in eleven spaces. So if you can end up moving the fellowship eleven spaces without being caught. You'd be in Mordor without me even knowing that, and you'd have zero corruption. Right, okay. And you could start going for it. All right. Uh, but you don't have a lot of time to dig around, so so you may want to end up moving the Fellowship more than once. And every time you move the Fellowship more than once, you have to put your die in the hump box, and every time you have a die in the hump box, that gives me a plus to try to find you. Okay. So there's a cool. push-your-luck element to it that you, you're going to want to push that Fellowship hard, but you don't really know... Um, if you're going to get caught or not. Right. Okay. Uh, All right. So um, that's it. At the end of the day, you're either trying to get the ring here and I'm trying to get 12 corruption on you, or you're trying to win four points in cities or strongholds. And I'm trying to win 10 points in cities and strongholds. Okay. And I think that's it. Steph's here. She says early start. Pat and I hate heading to a game of root. Just stopping by to support you. Thanks, Pat. What's root? Root is a, Asymmetric area control game with little animals in the woods, and you might like it actually. That was cool. Board game? Uh, it is a board game, yes. Nice. I think you can play it online now, too. All right. Let's play All this right, one. All right, cool. Now. 
<laughs> Let's play this game. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. So the first thing we do every turn, uh, thanks to our handy dandy little sheet, is that we recover our action dice and draw event cards. So we didn't really spend any action dice, so we each have our starting action dice. I have seven action dice. You have four action mm -hmm. dice. And we are going to draw one card from each one of these decks, a character card and a strategy card. And that's going to be our hand. And we can have a maximum of six cards in our hand. So we have a hand, a hand limit of six cards. And these cards are going to do special stuff for us. It'll allow us to maybe... Uh, for the free people, a lot of it is you can recruit when, before people are activated. If the card says you can recruit people in XYZ region or whatever, then that's going to do that because um, it's going to be harder for you to get your stuff down your political track. Whereas me, the shadow is ready... And I just want to get my people at war very quickly so I can start recruiting recruiting people for sure. Um, okay, cool. Yep. So uh, the top part it. of this card is what you can do with an action dice that matches the action of the card. Or the bottom part will be something mm -hmm. we can do in combat, but we'll talk about that when we get to it. All right, sweet. So, so now I'll bring out that dice roller and roll them dice. All right, here's what we got. Mm. Two wilds, character, and a march and or muster. All right. Oh, my bad, my bad. Now, I get to decide, do I want to take any of my dice and just put them right in the hunt box? Because I'm assuming maybe you're going to move the fellowship. I want to have some better chance to find you. Um, for the first round, I don't really worry about it so much. I want more stuff to do, I think. So I'm not going to put a, a dice in the hunt box. But every future round, I'm probably going to end up. And also, anything that I roll that has an eyeball is going to go in there anyway. So, right, right. So I might have something coming up. Soon. Oh. Right. Oh, my bad. 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 So I got a Palantir. I've got, um, I didn't get any eyes. Look at that. Lucky you, so man. Good first roll. Two, I got three army actions, an army muster action, a character action. An army action and a palantir. Oh yeah, these armies are gonna be moving. Yeah, this is not looking good already for me. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, so that was phase one. So now phase two is the fellowship phase, and you can declare. This is when you can declare the position of the fellowship. In the first round, it doesn't really matter because we all know you're in Rivendell. So you're and you're already at zero corruption. The reason you would want to declare Just to yourself get the elves out is. Uh, well, to activate the elves, which they're already active, so there's no point. Oh, just to, it's not it doesn't move them down the political track; it just wakes them up. It just wakes them up. Okay. And and then um, also to heal corruption. But right. You don't have any corruption, so you don't really need to reveal this turn. So we don't have to worry about that. All right. Um, phase three is the. Um, oh, I'm sorry. We did the. Then phase three is I can choose to put a hunt dice in the hunt box. And then phase four is we roll the dice. And now we're doing the action resolution. Right. So now uh, the free player always gets to go first. And you have four dice to my seven dice. And you can basically, as long as you have less dice than me, you can always pass your turn. And you can keep passing your turn until we have an equal amount of dice. Then we have a, when we have an, anytime we have an equal amount of dice, we have to go back and forth. Okay. Cool. Or you can just start playing all your dice now, and then let me do three extra actions at the end of the game, um, at the end of the round. I'll let you go first action, actually. All right. Cool. Well, I'm going to first action. I'm going to do is I'm going to play an army action. So I'm going to do one of these little army banner things, and I can move an army. So what I can do is I can move up to two different armies. From their regions to adjacent regions or i can move one army to attack an enemy but uh, we're not ready to attack anybody yet because nobody's at war yet so um so that's that so i'm gonna move uh, i'm gonna move these guys out i think i got these guys wrong there's one two three four five there yep. i'm gonna move these guys to dagger lad Best of Star Trek. What's up, dude? Hey, best of Star Trek. And I'm going to move these guys to South 
in the thin. Oh boy. Testing me, Tom. Mm -hmm. Already, right on the border. All right. War of the Ring, that's right. Okay, so it's still your turn, I think. If you want to pass, then I will take a turn, or you could go now if you want. Mm -hmm. You have two wilds, by the way, so you can do pretty much anything you want with those. Yeah, basically. I'm, I'm trying to think the best move to do. Um, can I? Um, no, I can't do that. Um, I can't do that. I can't do this. All right, so I'm trying to think what best to do. So I, if I declare myself right now, the elves, they're already woken up, so no point of that, right? Yeah, we're done with declaring. So what you want to think about is two things. Uh, I, I got an idea. I know what I want to do. You want to get things down the political yeah, track? Yeah, I, so you... I want to move the elves down one, the political right. track. So you're going to use that as a muster action. Yes. And then um, and there you have it. All right, cool. And? And now you can decide whether or not you want to. Oh, no, then I get to go. Sorry. Yes. Um, I'm going to use another army action. And I think we're going to move, gonna move these guys. Here, a lot of dudes here. Uh oh, that doesn't look good for me. <laughs> okay, cool. So, all right, my turn again, I think. Yep. Um, unless you want to pass to me because you still have less dice than me at this point. So, I got three wilds basically. All right, I am going to do another muster for the elves. All right, elves are now almost at war. All right, come on, guys. <laughs> Rally the cry. Remember the men of the West. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to also do a muster action, and I'm going to make Sauron at war. Uh -huh. So now Sauron can recruit. Let's say you, human, you're lying. <laughs> uh oh. All right. Oh, you're, coming out, you're coming out the gate hot, Tom. You're really okay. I'm trying. All right, now it's my turn. Let's see. All right, so I have, hmm, I can't do that really. Uh, okay, I will, I will, can this move the fellowship? Um, that is a muster or army dice, so, so no. you need a character dice to move the fellowship. That'd be this. All yeah. right, in that case, I, um, I think I'm going to use this. To get the elves at war. Whoa, the elves yep. are at war. The elves are at war. The elves woke right. the fuck up real fast when they saw the orcs coming outside <laughs> with that smoke and everything. Right. So now, in the future, you can use a mustard dice to, to recruit elves in elvish territory. And also, I can an attack without, like, um... And you can attack without, yeah, without <clears throat> penalty. Yep. Okay. All right, so the elves are at war. Good first round. All right. Um, let's see. What am I going to do? Well, I think I'm going to do another army action. And let's get these people out into the world. Oh. So I'm going to move these guys here. And I'm going to move these guys here. Oh, oh crap. Here we go. They're moving in. They're moving in. Oh. All right, now I have a character action, I think. You have a character action, so... You can, can I see the character pile over there real quick? Oh, sure. Yep, because with a character action, you can break up the Fellowship if you want. You can move the Fellowship, you can hide the Fellowship, you can separate companions. Separating companions is one of the group companions from the Fellowship. The companion figures are removed from that box and must move on the map up to a distance of the fellowship equal to the set number. The okay, I think I want to separate someone from the fellowship. Is that right. okay? Sure. Who right. separating? I'm going to bring out my boy Gimli. That's right. Oh, shit, Gimli. Oh, son of glory. Right. So now this stays in front of you because you're going to be able to see Gimli's stuff. So um, first things first is that uh, just so you can see Gimli's stuff. So his level is second level. That means he can move to. That means he has two health. Um, and, he, and he does stuff with level two. He also has one combat rating, so that means that in combat, he's he's a leader for rerolls, but he also adds to your combat strength. Um, he's a captain of the West. If he's in battle, add one of the combat strength. If Gimli is an Erebor and Erebor is unconquered, you may use any action dice to advance the Dwarven nation one step on the political track. That's right. 
My boy Gimli is going to bring in the uh, the Hail Mary there. Here are the uh, character cards. Crap, when did it? What's up, Jerry? We started at like 7, a little past 7, but we've been explaining the rules, so we just got started. Yeah, we it's just our first started. round. Yep, just started. Okay, that's my character. Right. Uh, that's all your actions, and I've got three actions left. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a character action to move my Nazgul. Oh, yeah, you can move all your Nazgul if you use the character all action. Nazgul. Oh, to war. <laughs> to war. To war. All right. And then, um, is that all my last rule? I guess so. Yep. I'm going to use one more army action to get these guys out of Baradur because I just like the eye being free. <clears throat> so, because I can see. <laughs> That does look pretty dope. I got a lighter. Give me one second. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then finally, I have a Palantir action, which I can use to either spend a card or I can um, or I can uh, grab a new card, one, one free card from the deck. Um, Okay, and I can't play any of these cards, so I'm just going to grab a, a card from the deck. All right, cool. Um, one thing that I want to try to do early on is I want to try to get Saruman the Wise out. And uh, basically, I need to get Azing Isengard at war and make sure that Orthanc is not mm -hmm. conquered and he'll come right out. So Isengard is right here. It's active. I just need one muster to get him out. Unfortunately, I didn't get in the, all these seven dice. I didn't get a single fucking muster action. So, uh, so be it. Saruman stays in the castle waiting to do stuff. All right, cool. And okay. that is all the action dice resolved. So we check to see if anyone won the game. <laughs> I don't think anyone Not yet, did. No. So now we're back to the top. So now we get to recover our action dice. <clears throat> okay. Now we just start. Oh, we, we got to draw cards. Uh, first, you do the fellowship phase. Now you can declare the fellowship. This stupid dog. Not going to do anything. No. no need for that. Then I decide, do I want to put any of these dice into the hump box? And I think you're going to move this turn, so I might want to put one of these dice in the hump box. Okay. Um, the... <clears throat> if you roll a bunch of the hunts, then I'm basically spotted, so that might be like... Useless card. Uh, useless you you can still turn. move. You're just you. Right. You could potentially take corruption if you draw bad things from the back. Right. Right. Okay. So that's it. All right. Um, all right. And then we're gonna roll our action dice. So if you wanna. Roll all right. Up. Let's do it. Uh, the cards. Oh yeah, we get to yeah. draw cards. Yes. Let's see what we got here. Two cards. All right. All right, cool. Okay, uh, hang on. I do need to ask for uh, one rule yes. ruler thing. Um, when you summon out a character, when they separate from the fellowship, do they move? I believe they do. They move up to their move rating plus whatever level you are of movement on the fellowship. Okay, so I did not move. So right Gimli. now you did not move the fellowship, so Gimli would move two from wherever the fellowship is right now. Can I put him back? Like, uh, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. That back? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, so wherever the fellowship is, you can put him two spaces away from the fellowship. Gonna put him right there. Um, cool. Oh, wait, are these guys, where are these guys right here? Are they They're in, there? in the Rivendell, yeah. Okay. Um, mm. he, he, can he take an army with him? Uh, when he's on the ground, he can, but when you just separated him from the fellowship, he can. Gotcha, okay. Because he basically just went, I'm out of here, boys. Oh, fuck the elves. Oh, the elves. <laughs> I'm so tight about this. All right, anyway. All right, so then. Okay, so um, we got to roll now. Yep. And next, if you get an army move next room, you can just move that army right into him if you want. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, so we got this, this muster. That is muster. Muster, muster, uh, either or, and a character action. All right, this would be cool. Get in the eyes. Oh, I got an eye. And 
what else do I get? Uh, <clears throat> this looks like muster, palantir, army, army muster, and army. Another big army moves. Yep. <laughs> okay. Can I see the fellowship deck again? Sure. Do you want to just keep this by you? I think that's cool. Yeah. Let me see that. Just, oh. You can put it up by... Uh, by the cards up there. Or these guys are. Yeah. You can put it right there. Jesus. <laughs> Look at this. I was like, who's this chick? <laughs> <laughs> it's Legolas. It's Legolas. <laughs> Hold on. Let me just check this one out. Mm -hmm. Jerry says you look like Gimli with that beard. Thanks. <laughs> Consider that an enormous compliment. Um, it doesn't make sense to get him out there. Uh, let's see. This Boromir. Oh, Bor. I feel like if Boromir dies, there's a special thing that happens. Nope. It's actually better. To, okay. And then these these guys take them alive. Okay. And they're basically the. All right. So I'll leave them right here. All right. I guess the first thing I will do is take a move action, which would be, I think, this one. Or this one. Um, what do you want to move? An army or a character? Or the uh, character. I want to. I want to move, uh, move Gimli. Then you need to spend a character dice to move a companion. But then you wouldn't be able to move the fellowship this turn. I know. Right. <clears throat> okay. All right. He's moving that way. All right. He moved there, and I'm going to keep these all over here. Your turn, Tom. All right. I'm going to do an army dice to move up to two armies. And I'm going to move these guys here, and I'm going to move these guys here. That's oh, my turn. The shadow lengthens. The shadow. <laughs> you have to be in a town to recruit, right? You have to be in a, in a, a village, which is a settlement, which is just a, a, a diamond. Or you need to be in a city, which is a rectangle like this. Or you need to be in a stronghold like this. Okay, now I'm going to use this muster action. But oh, uh, only the elves can muster for you because yes. the only elves are at war. So you want to look for the elven regions, which are anything that have like a green board. Green, right, right. Yep. Two leaders of any different two friendly, two regular units in any two different, two uh, regular units in regular units in any two different. That means two per friendly unit, or just divide the two between them. Two regular units and any two different friendly. Yep, two I'm going to do that right now. All right, where's the elf pieces? I'm going to use that for the muster. Don't. Okay. So that was a little green fairy. Here we go. Uh, these are the elves. He's not? Those are Rohan. Oh, cool. All right, let's see. Elves are brighter green. Right. Uh, That's all the elves you got. Th these are all the pieces? That's it. Uh, two leaders, then. One elite. Oh, here we go. One leader and one regular army. I'll do that. So it'll be basically... I think I got my pieces. That's basically that. I'm going to put not a lot of room over there. I'm going to put them in Rivendell. I'm going to put these guys over here. Lorian? Yep. All right. And you can have a maximum of 10 units in a thing, so you're good. Okay, cool. That's my turn. Your turn. All right. Um... I think I wouldn't mind doing a muster. I need to get a muster so I can get Isengard at war. <clears throat> and now that Isengard is at war, I get Saruman. If Isengard is at war and Orthanc is unconquered, you may use one muster action die to result uh, result to play Saruman in Orthanc. Saruman cannot leave Orthanc. Here he is, baby. Da, da, da. Saruman. That guy. You shall go destroy the trees and create an orc army. What All do right. we want? All right, that so now I have this. two special abilities as Saruman. I have the voice of Saruman. As long as Orthanc is under your control and not under siege, you may use a muster action die to recruit one regular Isengard unit in every Isengard settlement or to replace two regular Isengard units with elites. Um, and then I also have Servants of the White Hand. Each Isengard unit is considered to be a leader as well as an army. So Isengard units are pretty badass at this point because they're they're Urukai now. They're no, yeah, yeah. they're not orcs anymore. They don't they don't mess around anymore. <clears throat> Let's see. All right. Okay. Uh... Now you still have less dice than me, so you could you could force me to go next if you wanted to, or you could go again. Doesn't 
matter. Just wanted to okay. remind you about that. Okay, must. What do I do? I want to make a move. The army. I could make a move. Um, and I have to have the character action to move Gimli again. I can't just move him. Well, he has to be in an army. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it, to use to move a character or a companion or a leader, you have to use the character action. All right. So first thing, I'm going to move my army. I'm going to get into this only. That's a muster action that you just played. Oh, this one. My bad. Yeah. All right. So that one. I put you here. Oh shit. Uh, someone's going for a stronghold up there. I think. <clears throat> you yeah. want to leave that leader, or you? Uh, I'm debating. I just, I genuinely, as a rule. <clears throat> This is a muster action, right? Yeah. You know what? Put them all together. I'll yeah. muster in the next turn. Well, and actually, they would all be here. Oh, okay. Nah. Sorry. It's, uh, it's a little tight. It's a little tight, but you're cool. All right, cool. That's one army. I can move another army. You can move another army, yep. Yeah. If I leave this, I still have the points for it, right? I don't like... You do, yep. Yeah, but I can just walk right in there and take it. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Um, I don't... Nice. Famous last words. I don't foresee you doing that. <laughs> um, well, there's the elves. Yep. And even though my um, Nazgul can move anywhere on the board because they can fly, I cannot just fly into a stronghold. I can't move that army that I just moved a second time, right? You cannot. Okay. Hmm. And what to do? All right. So these guys are hunkering the F down because, you know, why would they not? I think... I can't move the door. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. I think they take a diplomatic action. You can muster to go up the diplomat track. Yep. Let's get the... Um, you got dwarves and Northmen and Rohan up here at the top, and you got Gondor <laughs> here. Let's go with the dwarves. All right. Dwarves are one step closer to war. Yes. <clears throat> All right. I think that's it for me. All right. I have a card, I think, in the play. Yep, I'm going to play my Palantir dice to play this card that says the Palantir of Orthanc. Play on the table if Sormon is in play. When the Palantir of Orthanc is in play, you after I use an event action dice roll result to play an event card, I can immediately draw another card. So just a way for me to keep my hand replenished. Oh, I'm reading some of these. Okay, these are some of these are good abilities. All right, it's still your I, mm -hmm. your turn though. Are you passing? Oh, I have oh, no you're out moves. Of dice. I'm I out of moves. You. Yeah, I have only four. All right, I got a, I got an army and an army plus muster dice that I can do something with. So, um, I think it might be time to show what <clears throat> battle is like. I don't know where are you attacking. I think we might attack Lorian just for the fuck of it. Where? Or oh you know what I might I might attack Pelagir. Are you at war? Uh <laughs> oh you know what the Easterlings are not at war. Sauron is at war. Sauron is at war and Isengard is at war. Fuck. But these guys with the elephants are not at war. All right, so I can attack an enemy army in adjacent region with one of your armies. As long. Yep. Or I could, um, or I could recruit first. Yeah, I think I'm going to recruit first. I'm going to use this muster die to recruit first. What do you get? Two leaders and any two friendly, or two regular units and every and any two different, or one leader and one regular unit and two different. So let's get uh, two regular. I'm mustering two regular units. No, one leader and one regular army unit in any two different friendly. Let's go leader and regular. And Saruman was the genetic engineer of Middle Earth. No, I can't go there. Sorry. He had a that's mind of gears and metal, and that's why he was corrupted. <laughs> yeah, I'll go here. 
All right, cool. All right. And then finally, I'm going to attack you. <clears throat> All right, so we can show what attacking is like. Um, so let's go for it. Okay. Um, so you are attacking where? So these guys who are in South Arduin Vale are going to attack. Oh, wait, I can't attack you. No, nope, not yet. Uh, let me get this. Uh, yeah, Lorian. a whole other. Yeah, the, the <laughs> pieces are awesome, Lorian but we don't. Here, yeah. Oh yeah, put them right here. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Eldoras is still here. Eldoras. Helm's Deep is this one. Yeah. I'll leave it there for now, right? I, yeah, yeah. So well, you yeah. can't attack yet. All right, we just can't attack. Yeah, I can't attack there, but I can't attack here. You're not at war. Yeah, you're not. You're right. I can't attack here because <laughs> this is Sauron. Oh! Uh, but you guys are all here, so that, that's kind of a bloody battle. Yeah, it is. It's fun on this side, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is like it's got this. The other side, it's like a different game. It's like more yeah. like a World War II strategy game, and, and my yeah. side is more like a long term. We got to hold back the tide. We yeah. can do it, but oh man, hold on. Yeah, so let me get this out of the way really quick. And these are your guys in Minas Tirith. These are the guys in Ogoloth. There's only two guys there, so I can attack these guys. But you can always just retreat if you want. Yes. But we're coming in. So there's okay. one, two, three, four, five dudes and two Nazgul. Okay. So we are now in combat. Yes. Oh, so first thing in. we do um, uh, is that we, I think you can first decide if you want to fight or do you want to retreat? Retreat. Go back into the, okay. go back into that place. So we're not fighting. So you guys can go back to Minas Tirith if you want, or yeah. you can go to Lasarak. No, want. I'm going to hunger down and do the siege action. Okay. Well, we're not, yeah, we're not there yet. So. Okay. My bad. My so. guys just moved into Osculiath, so. Is it a new or old game? What do you think? Kind of? This game? Yeah. This game is a, the second edition of this came out a couple of years ago. So it's, it's definitely an old game, um, but there's newer version of it now. And it's and they're constantly updating it. There's more expansions for it and stuff, so it's pretty cool. All right, um, so that's that was my turn. I did a muster and I did an attack, so that's it. All right, cool. And so you then. didn't move, so we get our dice back. And I don't, since you didn't move the fellowship, I don't have to uh, put a hunt. That's right. All right, cool. So first things first. Do you want to declare the fellowship? You don't need to because you haven't moved them yet. Don't need to, no. Um, yep, so let's grab our uh, two event cards and okay. then roll dice. Oh, now six remember, max. you can only have six max. This is a good one. Okay. All right, and now we roll, right? Now we roll. Six cards. I'm going to put a dice in the hunt box. Just, uh, just for the heck of it. Get them right there. Yeah. I see you. All right. What do I got? I got two the card. Oh, cool. I got to two cards, one wild, and a muster or an uh, attack. Yeah. And there's another hunt. No, there's another hunt. And there's another hunt. Nice. All right. So I only have four dice. I have two musters and a palantir and a character action. Okay. I know what I want to do. Oh, well, now we have equal amounts, so now we don't have to... So you get to go first. All right. I'll play this. No powers too, uh, no powers too great. It moves the Elven Nation down one, which is not going to do anything. But as long as it's up, you cannot attack or have an army enter into Lorien, Rivendell, or the Grey Havens. <laughs> so now we got a protective Elven oh, shield over ones. this. Now, there's a way I can get rid of that, right? I have to... Del Discard a card and dis and kill some people or something. You can be discarded by using any one action dice result and discarding one army event card and one character event card from his hand. All three things to get rid of this. Yeah. So I have a magic spell over my bitch. I'm like, all right, the elves are awake. All right. <clears throat> all right, that was your turn? Yep. 
All right, I'm going to play this Palantir action to play this card that says, the play if Isengard is at war, we are at war. Recruit one Isengard unit, regular or elite, in a region where a shadow army is present. Anywhere. Anywhere where a shadow army is present. Where do I want one of these cool war dogs? Because Isengard has the wargs. Where do I want to put an elite warg dog? Well, I think we want to put it up here in Moria. Come to the mines of Moria, I dare you. Bet. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, next, I'm going to. Uh, what do I want to do here? Gimli can't recruit. I can't already ask that question. Uh, let me think. Um, if yeah, if Gimli was on a space with armies, then he can move the armies with him. But okay, and blue is the North Nation. Blue is the North. Yep, the North people. All right. I think what I'm gonna do is um. Oh, interesting. All right. Um, this is older than the Shire, but where's the Shire and Butler right over there? This is not gonna help. <laughs> this is not gonna help. Um. You gotta start moving those guys to Mordor. Uh no, I'm cool. I'm cool. I mean, I'm gonna do that. Not you go for the military victory uh, right off the bat. I'm gonna do. Now I know. Now I have to go uh, protect some. Areas. Well, now you have three eyes on me, so it's not a good idea to do that. That's true. I'm not saying, confirming or denying my strategy uh -huh. here. Let me just see what to do. This is not it. All right. Well. All right. I guess I'll do this. I'll use this to play another card. Recruit one elven unit, regular or elite, in Rivendale. And I get to draw a strategy event card. Is that the one that has the uh, the sword or the um, no, that's other one? The other one, yep. And okay. you only have elites left, so. That's cool. So one, can I move the Rivendale set piece out? You can, yeah. Yeah. All right. You guys are basically just, I guess in this um, altern uh, alternative fan fiction, everyone's like, no, let's not move them. <laughs> yeah. Let's keep them exactly like, where we uh, We have to have second breakfast first before we go to the Mordor. Sure. Let's just hang out. Let's can, keep, you, can you make some more sausage? Let's keep the ring in a bunker. <laughs> Don't bring it over there. Also, where, uh, where do I put the discards? I hear? Oh, yeah. They're, burned. they're out of the game, yeah. Okay. Um, okay. And your move. All right. I have two muster actions and a character action dice. So I can move my characters around. Or I can muster things, and that's pretty much um, what I can do. So mustering is good because I have Saruman. I forgot. And Saruman, as long as I'm in, I'm in control, I can use a muster action to recruit one regular unit in every Isengard settlement or replace two regular units with elites. Guess we'll get those wolves back out. Yeah, yeah. All right. So um, let's replace these two guys with an elite. The wolves are in Orthanc. Okay, just and the one. That was a muster action. Cool. All right, Mike. You get to go. I got a wild and a move. So I think what I'm going to do is move this army up here. They have to be at war for me to move an army, right? I can't like... Say again? They, I have to be at war to move an army, right? Not to move an army, but to muster an army. <clears throat> okay, so I could move the, the blue of the Northmen, right? Yeah, you can move the Northmen. Hmm. Um, they they just can't move into enemy territory because they don't want to be at war with anybody. Right, right. Okay. Uh, who else should I move? Who else should I move? It's gonna be one. That ain't gonna work. We started moving oh, yeah, these, these guys. Yeah, yeah. Well get them going. All right. So there we go. All right. Cool. Another thing you do with the two because uh, when you just do a move, <clears throat> um, army movement and you, you get to move two units, one good thing is to kind of move the two units together to form one ginormous unit, right? This is Rivendell. So okay. Rivendell. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, cool. 
All right, I got one more muster action. I'm going to now do Saruman's other ability to recruit one regular unit in every <coughs> Isengard. Oh, area. boy. This guy just makes... Uh, it's only it's only the areas with these things. This is like an empty area. It's only that one, that one. Oh, right. oh. And I think, I think all three? <laughs> yeah, muster... To put a regular Isengard unit in every Isengard settlement or replace two regular yep, settlement. You're right. So it's only here and here. And in Orphanic. All right, cool. Your turn. Mm -hmm. Just thinking of what to do. Oh, I spent that. Hang on. So I guess I have a while left. Yep. <clears throat> That's not going to work as a character action, right? It can. It can. Yeah. It, wild means you can change this face to anything you want it to be. In that case, I think I'm going to have... Let me see. Oh, hang on. I got my pieces mixed up. Pouring it for the homies. Oh shit, they're coming in! I, I think I'm gonna have Gandalf separate from the fellowship. Oh shit, Gandalf's yeah. coming out. Yep. And he can move two spaces, I believe, when he comes out. Yep, unless you were able to, if you were able to move the fellowship. He would get his movement plus whatever the fellowship movement was. Oh, I see. Oh, that's actually a better idea. Maybe I should do that. All right. Uh, that's that's just something the bad guy would say. That's something. <laughs> that's something. Sarah that's something. A guy say. with three uh, eyes in the hunt box. That's right. You corrupt me. All right. So let's see. I think. No, I think that's wise. Actually, uh, separate. Uh, let's get. Let's get Gandalf. Do I want him to stay with the fellowship or not? I think because the fellowship is going to be. No, I think I want to separate him. Yeah, I want to separate Gandalf from the Fellowship. All right. So you play this as a character dice. Here's Gandalf for you. You can move him two spaces away from Rivendell. No, three spaces, three spaces. away from Rivendell. One and two. You're going to join up with this army, I think. Yep. Yeah. He's right. in there, all right. Where are you guys at? You're here, right? Yep. Coming up. Coming up north. Oh, You're two spaces away. All right. Um, now that's done, and I think that's all I can do. I think you have well, you have a character die, and that's I it. Do you have a character die, and that's it? So what can I do with a character die? Well, um, I'm going to use this. Let me see. I think I have a card that I can use character with. <clears throat> nope, that's Blade Fellowship is revealed. Oh, yes. I'll play this. I'll play this uh, on on they went card. Um, so I get to add the plus three tile to the hunt bag. So oh, there's boy. a red. The red ones are my tiles. Oh. And I'm looking for one that says a three on it. That's the okay, one. Three and a symbol? Okay. Yep. Oh boy, that's a big one. And here is the and bag. Goes in the bag. Oh boy. That's discarded. The temptation is building. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, uh, that's it. Oh, and anytime I play a event card with uh, the symbol for it, then I get to draw a new card. Okay. All right, cool. All that's right. everybody's <laughs> dice. So we take our dice back. We get to draw two more cards up to six. I already have six cards. So I, I have can't six, draw yeah. Anymore. All right, so I have to get discard. All right, let's see. Uh, I can burn that one, I think. You didn't move the fellowship, so I don't have to put any dice in the hunt box if I don't want to. And I don't think I am because it looks like you're not moving the fellowship. Uh, oh, where's where's south, south in Loretlin? I can't pronounce it. South Iliathan and Osgoloth. I think Osgoloth is over here, right? Osgiliath is here. Okay. So it's where my guys are right now. All where of is these it? Guys. 
there. Aaron always go off, I think. Alice Gilead. Yep. This is where um, Boromir's brother died. Oh, that was sad. <laughs> that was really sad. All right, I guess I'll burn these two. All right, and those go out forever. All right. Okay. Ah, I burned one too many. Er. I totally forgot. I'm supposed to roll an extra dice now that I have Saruman. There you go. Good, good looks. Mm -hmm. All right. Anyway, so now we roll. Now we roll. Okay, I got a character. I got a wild. I got an army, and I got um, a card. All right. I've got one eye in the hunt box, two eyes in the hunt box, and then I've got. Uh, a couple of armies, musters, character, and a palantir. You can either go or pass, because you have less dice than me. Let's see. Do, what do, can do, I do? Do, do? So the beginning of this game is a lot of setup. Yeah, preparation. But then it'll start ramping up once we start killing each other. Erebor, uh, is up there. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. I got a plan. Oh, I got a plan. Let's see what I can do. Where uh, Northern Nation is the blue one. So, yep. all right, then I am going to use the army movement action. That's army. That's, that's muster. muster. My bad. Uh, muster is diplomatic actions. Yep. Where you is... have a wild one, so if you wanted to move an army, you could use a wild one. Who are those other two on top of the track? This is Rohan, the Riders of Rohan, and these are the North people here. And this is Rohan right here, I That's, take it. Uh, Rohan is here, the dark green people. Oh, boy, they should really be at war. <laughs> uh, oh, no. Uh, I have to be at war to muster, correct? You do. And the other one was these guys, I think. This is Gondor, yeah. That's Gondor. So then they're the white. Gondor is the white tree up this way. <clears throat> All right, in that case, I need to take my move back. I'm going to use the character action to move Gimli. All right, you can move him up to two spaces. This is wild, you said? This can become a character die? Yep. Okay, cool. I'm going to move Gimli one and two right in there. All right. Now, next time you move Gimli, that army guy will follow him if you want him to. Hell yeah, that's cool. Come to war with me, brother. Mm, that's right. There are orcs to slay. All right, so then your turn. Oh, your army. Look at all that army. All right, I'm going to play one of these um, army dice to play this card that says half, half orcs and goblin men. Play if Isengard is at war. I am. Recruit one Isengard unit, regular or elite, to a region where a shadow army is present. Where is Fangor? Oh no. The wolf howls. The Fangor woods are here with the Ents. There's the Ents. Sweet. Oh, ents. The Fangor forest is right here next to Isaac. Wow, That's a good card. Okay. All right. My right, turn. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to use this. To, hmm, is that kind of how I'm doing that right? Um, yep, I'm going to use this character action to transform Gandalf the Gray into Gandalf the White. And I get a dice. Oh, you got Gandalf the White? Oh, yeah. Good job. All right, Gandalf the White. Here we go. Uh, is there a figure you for that? It next turn, so we just put it. Somewhere. Okay, yeah. I'll put it over in the discard bar, I guess, you know? Yep. Okay. So there we go. That's something. Where does it say he spawns? Uh, he, it says if Gandalf has been eliminated or has left the Fellowship and any minion is with him, I can use one Will of the West die, which I did to make him uh, to make him Gandalf the White. So now that army's got a little bit of a boost. Um, Gandalf the White is moving alone or with one Hobbit. The level is considered four for movement purposes only. Okay. And he's got three movements. So that, is that army going to come with him? It would. Um but where is he though? I mean, did up here? Because you moved him where two, three away from 
I, oh, I see. He was already out. Never mind. He was already he out. Die. Yeah, yeah. He didn't, he didn't die. die. No, yeah. I didn't do the thing. I got that, you. <laughs> you could use that, but you were right, not right. coming after my corruption yeah. yet. So I figured gotcha. I'm going to just get up, yep, get yep, Gan yep. up the white, get my dice. Yeah. So uh, he's essentially a leader for that army. Okay. And there's also another leader in there. So you have an army of two elites and one regular oh. dude that has Gandalf and three. the leader as a leader. Three elites. Three elites and one regular. Yep. Yeah. We got him. All right. We're going to do some stuff. Let's see what we can do, guys. Come on. So for the elves. All right. Um, let me see what I'm doing here. Well, I think I'm going to do a recruit. Let's get some more dudes out here. So mustering. And Sauron needs more people. So how do I get elites out? I can either play I want elite unit in any friendly cinema or two, blah 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 or two, blah blah blah. We're preparing for war! No. Oh, they ready themselves. Dun dun. Hold the line. Hold the line. Hold. <laughs> All right. So now it's my turn. Your turn. I, or you could pass to me. I could do an event card. Is he playing event card or draw an event card? What can I do? Can I do anything with movement? Oh, well, this is going to be, yeah, I need to use this later. Advance the northern nation on the track. Do I want to do, do I want to get the northern nation up in this? It seems like a good idea, actually. All right. So I could play a card. So I could use this. Gandalf the Grey is the red one white. Low three dice. Corruption points. Shadow and Osgoloth. South or north Illenian. I, I forgot. I already forgot where that is. <laughs> the uh, south and north Illithian is here. And what's this area? Oh, it's not, okay. Roll three dice and score one hit against this army for each result of five or plus. Then, if there are free peoples in Osgoloth, recruit one Gondor unit. They are not in Osgoloth, so I did not charge yet. Yep. My guys are in Osgoloth, <clears throat> and they're about to come into Minas Tirith to kill you. Hmm. <clears throat> Because I'm done I fucking should. around. Sorry for some uh, combat. He's ready to fight. He's ready. He's thirst for blood. All right, I think I'm going to use this. I could use this to damage you. Three dice and squawny hit a five. Let's see. One, two, three. Four. Um, yeah, why not? Let's do it. So I'm going to roll three dice. And if I score one hit against you, you know, if I get five or six. That's right. Holy shit. Damn. What'd you get? Three, three, and two. two. Oh, nothing. Basically a waste. All right, waste of a turn. All right, well, anyway, we tried our best. All right. Well, this is an army slash monster <clears throat> die, and we're using it for this army in Esgiliath to come into Minas Tirith. Woo. All right, so now, uh, so now we're in combat. So you need to decide first. Um, yeah, I know what I'm going to do, I think. A battle is resolved in a series of combat rounds. During each round, both players follow steps below. Play a combat card, roll dice, roll dice, remove casualties, and then choose to attack, cease the attack, or retreat. So we do one round of combat, and then you get to decide if you want to retreat after that. Got it. Okay. Um, all right. So let's. Uh, dice out. First, we get to play a combat card if you want to play a combat card. Oh, right, right. Let's see. Okay. So let me now that the second half of the card comes in handy. Let me just make sure. I think you do have an option to just retreat if you wanted to without <clears throat> having to take any losses. But uh, nope, you just go for it. Hmm. And okay. This is Rohan right here, right? Oh, yes. So when attacking the enemy, defending a region, uh, a wild. stronghold, before every combat round, the defender must choose to either fight a field battle or retreat into the siege. So right now you need to decide, do you want to fight this on the field or are you going to siege? Is this, um, is this Rohan? That's Rohan. This is Rohan. <clears throat> yep, the green is Rohan, and this blue is Gondor. You're okay. in Gondor right now. I'm going to siege. You're in the Gondor capital city. <clears throat> I'm right? going into siege. 
So okay, so, and here's the thing with sieging, though, is that you can only choose five, so your leader can go in for free, but now you can only choose five of these units to go in. Good luck, buddy. And the other one goes to your supply. Oh, he, he's gone? He's gone. He ran away like he a ran bitch? ran away like a bitch. Can I make him run over to here and warn the others? <laughs> nope. Bitch! All right, so now all my guys move in. Fuck, and that's it's happening! The, end of the combat, and now... We can decide to siege next turn. If we Minish Tirith is under attack. Surely. Oh, and does my is that are they at war now? Uh, they're activated. They're not at war. Are you for real? Where uh, this is a uh, Gondor, right? Yep. So they activated and they go one step down the middle. Good. Track. Okay. So you're one away from them being at war. Oh, they're not doing so good. <laughs> All right. So what to do? What to do? Uh, the fellowship's not moving. And this this couldn't move. This can't move the fellowship, right? It cannot. It can all it can do is muster forces. All it can do is move. It can make Andor at war <clears throat> if you want. Uh, it can make Andor at war. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Can it? Wait. Yes, diplomatic action. Um. All right. Yeah. Do it. Yes, you've recruited all the elves. You can't. Oh. I think you have only one elite elf left mm -hmm. to recruit. Okay. There we go. There right. war. There you go. Five so cards. I can attack, I can do a character action, or I can do a Palantir action. Um, okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play a Palantir action to play this Hill Trolls card. Play if Sauron is at war. We are. Replace two Sauron regular units with two Sauron elite units. Do I have two elite units? I at least picked the wrong bag. Yeah. All right, there's one. Yeah, I got two elite units. Two regular units going back, two elite units coming in. Fucking hell. Oh, it's not good. Minas Tirith is not doing good. All right. Then we're going to attack you. So this is what happens in a siege attack. Um, we're basically attacking each other. You are have your dudes in your area. I have to roll sixes to hit you. I have no other choice that, but to roll sixes to hit you. I hit on a five and a six, right? Yep. Now, at any time, you can decide, you know what, I want this to be a field combat and come out of the castle, and they call that a sword. But right now, you're kind of in the in the siege. Yeah. Um, so first, we get to play combat cards. If you have a combat card you want to play. Are you going to play one? Um, yes, I am going to play one. Hmm. Do, do, do. Here we go. All right. Do, 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 do. What does yours do? Um, mine says if my total Nazgul leadership is one or more, which I do I have two Nazgul in here, I can forfeit one point of Nazgul leadership to add one to all dice on my re leadership reroll. Decent. So that means I roll on a, I hit on a five or a six if I, but I only get one reroll. I forfeit all leadership of all champions participating in, in the battle, your side and mine, and cancel your combat card played by the Shadow Player. All right. Yeah. So it just cancels the combat card. Yep. And all we don't have, for the sake of like, uh, we don't have, le we forfeit leadership rights of both of our sides. Oh, so no one gets rerolls this turn. No one gets rerolls this right, turn. Cool. So I'm rolling one, two, three, four, five dice. You're rolling five dice. Yep. Keep those. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, look at that. Holy shit. Three hits, man. All right. Oh, two. Oh. That's two hits. Oh, uh, shit. So you lose three, I lose two. I lose three, you lose two. Yep. Ah. So I'm going to lose three of these little dudes. Oh. Gondor. Mm hmm. 
Um, how many good dudes you got left? Two? Three. No, four. Did you downgrade one of those elites? or? No, I took, said two I took these guys? two. Are, yeah. gotcha. All right, cool. Um, so now, normally, when you're sieging somebody, you only get one attack per turn. However, the attacking player can choose to downgrade one of their elites to a single unit huh. to it's get like, another attack. You so rolling we two go dice? again. You do only two dice, though, right? Only rolling two dice, but I get two rerolls, unless you're going to play a card, because oh, we fuck. get to play a card. And this is this is considered. I don't keep asking. This is Rohan over here, Fangor and Orthak. What the heck? Is, what the hell is Fangor and Orthak? Fangor and Woods is here. Okay, and Orthak, Orthak is Saruman and the White Wizard Tower. Oh, so this is basically all right then. Um, I'm not going to play a card. Not going to play a card. Yeah. See what we can do. All right. I'm playing the Black Breath. If a Nazgul is in the battle, which it is, if your leader reroll scores a, at least one hit, you can additionally eliminate one free people's leader participating in the battle. Alternatively, you can choose to eliminate a companion in the battle. The other, if the number of hits equals one, or, or if the number of hits exceeds the companion's level. So basically, I can destroy your leader if I get a hit on my reroll. Oh boy. So. First, let's see if anything hits. You're rolling three? Um, four. Yeah, the leader doesn't count. Okay, so one, two. An elite. One, so three. two, three. All You're right, three. rolling three dice. There we go. Yes, six. All right, that's one hit. One hit. And you have one reroll because of your leader. So you can reroll one dice. Oh. Ah, okay. all right. I'm going to roll these. I got nothing, but I get two rerolls because I have two Nazgul. Fuck. Fuck. Nope. I need sixes. All right. Tense. Tense. All right. That's that. All right. And that's the... You I, have one more character move. Uh, well, I could keep going if I want to downgrade this elite. Oh, man. You're really coming for me, huh? <laughs> he really wants to die. Let's do it. Why not? We're only the ones, right? And orcs don't live long. <laughs> I always get the orcs back anyway, so... Okay, so he's got, you're only rolling two dice. Just like before. Let me see if I got any cards I can play. Oh, shit, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Can play this. Yes. These combat cards are crazy. All right, I think I'm gonna do this. It's gonna be this is crazy. This is crazy. All right. Got a plan. I'm worried I and I have nothing to play that would be worth it. All right. Uh, all playing right. this. So, so we got before the combat roll, uh, I can afflict and apply up to two hits against your units and then add one to all dice on your combat roll for each unit affected. Jesus. So um, I'm going to kill one of my dudes. Okay. And that means I hit on fives or sixes now, and I get two rerolls. All right. So let's see. I got three. Shit. Yes. All right. Come on. Get him. Get him. Get him. Five. Fuck. Oh. That's it. You did it. The wind's not with us. <laughs> oh, wait You're a minute. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, sorry. Uh, it, go ahead. Sorry. Do your thing. The Nazgul should be dead now, right? The Nazgul are dead, yeah. Mm -hmm. We fucked them up. We fucked them up. Oh, we did it. I should have moved the Nazgul out. <clears throat> All right, now you get to come back in because you're not under siege anymore. Dun, da -dun, da -da -da. So that was to show how combat goes. <laughs> oh, my God. We did it. Yes, we just offended Minas Tirith. Oh, yep. shit. Okay. But, All right. Now. But now you got four guys, and I got a whole <laughs> army coming in. Oh, let them come. Let, <laughs> let them, them come. come. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, cool. I got one character action left. And um, that character action is going to be used to <coughs> move this 
Nazgul over here. And do I have any other Nazgul? Yeah, let me move this guy up here. All right, that's that. All right, sweet. So then, dice returns. Put this to the side for the time being. Yes. Um, draw cards. Draw cards. I totally spent my cards. I got to get two more cards. That's a good one. And get all our dice back. Okay, and I will discard. I think I got to discard this. Let me see. Four. Nope, I get this. All right, now we roll the dice. I think, right? Yeah, because you haven't moved the fellowships. So. <laughs> I have not moved the fellowship. Nope. <laughs> all right, let me see. Oh, look at this. Five character pieces. Holy moly. Oh shit. This is gonna be uh this is gonna be a showstopper, people. Alright, what do we got? Any eyes? Not a single eye. Yes! Oh, I guess what I'm gonna do now. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I got three palantir actions, three muster, an army dice, and a character dice. Well, it's a good thing because I need to muster. Mm, mustard. <laughs> mustard. <laughs> All right. So then, um, I guess I can go first. Do it. <clears throat> Let me see. So the first thing I want to do, um, and this is only one per character, I think, right? I think one second. I'm looking for something. Yep. What the my Nazgul, I can do one for all the Nazgul, but your yours are <clears throat> companion. You can move all companions that are out of the fellowship. Right. Okay. So I can move Gandalf the White. Let's see. He's got a shadow. You move him. Gandalf and Gimli. Yes. Okay, with one action. <clears throat> and Gimli moves two. Gandalf moves three. Right. Yep. Okay. And does that count as an, an action for war? Because I'm going to move. Oh, actually, because I'm going to move him over there. I think. If you're going to move Gandalf <clears throat> and the army to. Mount Graham, then you're not at war yet. No, what I want to, um, he moves three. Oh, you want him to move the army into, yeah, you can't do that. You either attack adjacent region or okay. you move. All right. So you can um, move two armies or you can attack oh, one army adjacent. Can he move here and then also to Mount Graham, like in that order, like over there and there? Maybe then I can drop off one troop, capture the town. Um, you can move in them that area there and then but the same people can't move twice so you can't so okay. you could split the army you could but you would need an army action not a character action if you had an army action oh, you could split okay. the army so they're, with they're, two they're different all together. okay yeah. i get you now okay all right in that case um yeah let's move it to actually move them so gimlin's gonna move one and two and um i can also can i also move the fellowship with that action no it's a different action okay so you're spending one to move Gimli. One to move Gimli, right. Okay. And because he moved two spaces. All right, then I guess it's my bad. All right, your turn. Yeah. You can move all companions with one <clears throat> dice. So dump, you dump, could dump. move Gandalf right now if you wanted to also. If you wanted to. Uh, I can? I could, wait, I can move. The, move companions. <clears throat> so you could use right. one dice to move all the companions. Uh, yeah, I'm, I feel, I'm absolutely going to move them up. Or should I bunker down over there, I think? Yeah, when I count, I would conquer that and get a victory um, points, right? More? Yeah, that's two victory points, right? That's one victory point because it's a city. All right, well, I'll go there and I'll end my turn there. It's only one space, but right. whatever. Cool. <clears throat> All righty, then. Your move. Um, I'm going to muster to put um, the Easterlings one closer to war. Oh, man, those fuckers. <clears throat> Jerry says, well, Minas Tirith fall <clears throat> next round. Dum, dum, dum. I can't muster. All right, so this is um, this is not uh, I can't play that, right? Right. Damn. You need a sword I <clears throat> Or a Palantir. All right. Well, in that like case, I have three, uh, I'm going to move the Fellowship. So what happens now? All right. So um, you're going to take this dice, throw it in the hunt box. I'm going to I'm going to roll as many dice as I have eyes here, which I don't have any. So um, you get to just move one space. Sweet. Okay. And you don't know where it is, right? I don't see anything yet. Yeah. Okay. 
All right, so in that case, uh, all my cards again, your turn. All right. I'm going to muster again. And now the Southerling Ether Sterlings are at war. All of Sauron is at war. All of the Shadow. I think that's a condition to get the Witch King out. Uh oh. Yeah, baby. All right, let's see what we can do. All right, so what can I do? Keep Strider Knight. Yeah, Strider Knight going nowhere. Gorm is in battle. Gorm is unconquered. You're going to split up the, the fellowship again? Considering it. Um, Mary and Brandy Book are staying right where they are. What's this? Oh, the Ring Bearers. They're staying right where they are. Yeah, so these are basically the characters that aren't going anywhere. This is yeah. a free hit. That's yeah. a free hit point right there. Strider staying there. The Legolas is in captain in battle. Do I wanna... No, I'm going to move the fellowship one more time. All right. And that's going to go here. That goes there. <clears throat> and unfortunately, I don't have a single dice in there to roll against you. All right. Um, I am going to use a muster, my final muster dice, to bring out the Witch King. If Sauron and one free people's nation are at war, you may use one master action die result to place the Witch King in any region with a shadow army that includes at least one Sauron unit. Activate all free people's nations. Oh, shit. The Witch King coming out activates all the free people nations. Good. So everyone, maybe I don't want him to come out. Everyone heard that shit. He ain't going to do it. No, because I want the extra dice. Okay. All right, you get a free activation, dude. For all of them. But now I have the Witch King. <laughs> no, that may defeat me. And I get to put him anywhere where there's some uh, people. And I think we're going to put him up here in this fun place. Up there in that stronghold? In the stronghold, yeah. Oh, boy. And I'll have an extra dice for next turn. Okay, so um, what happens at the end of the round when I use this or when this comes into play? If I had any hunt dice in here, right. it would have given me pluses to find you, but... I get you got lucky. I don't have any fucking dice. Fellowship again. Move that fellowship. All right. All right. I have an army die. I'm going to use my army die to start moving some armies. I'm going to move these guys. Watch out. Oh, shit. All of them? All of them, baby. And I get to move another <coughs> army. Let's move uh, these guys. Gotcha. All right. Okay. You have one last character action, and then I have four more actions. <laughs> oh, this is not looking good for me. <laughs> All right, I think I'll move the fellowship one more time. Wait, hang on. If I get to 12, I win? Or... Nope, that just means how how close you're getting to Mordor. If you get to 11 or 12, like if you get to 11 right now without me finding you at all, you're pretty much at the gates of Mordor. Yeah. And then this resets and you start climbing the <clears throat> mountain. Okay, cool. But next round I'll be probably finding you. You think so? Maybe. Yeah, I think so. I moved the Fellowship one last time. All right. All right, I'm going to play a Palantir dice to play this. It says, if the South Ron and Easterling are at war, I can recruit five regular units in a free region inside the South Ron and Easterling nation. This region may be adjacent to the eastern edge of the map. Yeah, so it's got to be either there, there, or way over here, but there's like a lot of cards there. Yeah. Five regulars coming in hot. 
put it right over here. One, two, um, three, four. I need a way to turn these guys into elephant riders. <clears throat> Since all the nations are at war now, I might as well start attacking them. Got a character and yep. two. Um, and thanks to that, I get to draw a card. Mystic Balls. Um, all right. This says move one shadow, shadow army from Umbar to a Gondor coastal region. Where the hell is Umbar? Uh, down here. Umbar. Umbar. Oh, that's interesting. If I if I would have kept my guys here, I could have uh, really gone across the river or <clears throat> the ocean there. Oh, thank God that wasn't an option. That would have been bad. Um, all right. Well, this is interesting. All right. Um, I'm, I can't play any more cards, so I'm going to use these two Palantir actions to draw two more cards. Okay. And then I'm going to... Whoops. Uh, use my final character action to move. I think I'm going to, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to move these guys in the middle of gear. They're attacking? They're attacking. <clears throat> and I can't get into a, it's not a stronghold. <clears throat> it is not a stronghold as a city, yep. I'll retreat. Right okay. Well, first you have to combat. Oh, really? Fuck. Yeah. There we go. All right. Do you want to play a card? No, I think it's a one of those lost tuck causes <laughs> type of deals. You know, like. Um, okay, I won't play a card either. Then let's just go for it. Hmm. Maybe I do want to play one card. All right. Maybe I do want to play a card. All right. Cool. Well, maybe I don't want to play a card. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah, I'll play this one. I want to play this one. No, I don't want to play this one. I need this. Now I'm good. Uh, yeah, I'm good. All right, cool. All right, so that um, will... you are a city. So a city or a stronghold, for the very first attack, um, I have to roll sixes. So yep. A little bit of a chance. Yeah. Let's see. Got a four. Got uh, one six. One six. Ah. Ah, so dude. now you would think this goes back to your supply. Nope. nope. Remove from the game forever. <clears throat> yep. You will never come back. Uh, it works to reproduce too quickly. Tickles. All right. And guess what? I'm in Pellet Gear, which is one victory point. Oh, boy. Ah. All right. Let's see. Now we gotta pick up our dice. I think. Yep. yep. And now I have one extra dice because of the Witch King. I have one extra dice too. Um, and we draw two cards. Yay. Okay. Draw two cards unless you have six. All right. Now we are going right, to. Shit. Now since you, how many, um, how many fellowship? dice did you have in this? How many times did you build a fellowship? Four times? Yeah. So now I have to put four dice in the hunt. Yeah! All right. That is the rule. Fucking cool. Right, I'll burn this card. <sighs> oh, I'm so sorry. It's all good. Oh. All right. I put that, was, that was almost the War of the Ring. <laughs> that was the one we got. Ah, is... All right, well, all right. So then now we roll these, I think, right? Now we roll these. All right. So you see, I have nine dice total, but I only rolled five because they're all numbers. All right, I think a fellowship's going to stay put this turn. All right, let's see. Character, character, character. Uh, 
cards and a muster or an army. Another eye. Oh, that's not doing anybody any good. All right, I got two Palantir actions and a muster and a muster and army. <clears throat> okay, then I'm going to use. You're definitely first. <clears throat> this move any and all cha champions who are not in the fellowship. <clears throat> so I'm going to move Gimli. And if I move Gandalf, can I move have to move them all in there, or do I have to? I can leave one behind. You can leave one behind, yeah. But you have to move the character since you're using the character action to do it. Yeah. yeah. If I leave, I don't lose the victory point, right? Correct. Even if you leave, you don't lose the victory point. We'll just put one of your markers on there that says it's yours, but then I can just walk in and take it. Right. So we'll just put one of these down. Oh, because that's a fortress? It's a city. Okay. So that's what's giving you your one point right now. All right, let's see. So <clears throat> if the champion is in Ever or the Dwarven lands, activate the Dwarven nation and make it directly at war. Oh, really? The Dwarven, okay. yep, the Dwarves are now at war. Dwarves are at war. Um, actually, that's going to be my card one. Okay. Uh, your turn. It's your turn since I have fewer dice than you. And oh, you're, yeah, you're okay. The, you're the free player. You go first. Can I, can, let's see. Let me lead army and attack with army. So I could attack with armies right now or uh, lead with the army. The Dwarves are just, are those all Dwarven elites or are they just Dwarves like one point? There's two elites and one leader and one regular. And the dwarves don't have horses, so that's a little more. Uh... Can I use a? I can use a character action. Um... Oh, it, see this card right here with the symbol. Is that going to work with the character action? The sword, or is it just? Yeah, it's a sword. All right, sweet. Then let's see what I can do. This is it for? Nope. Man, I need to go after uh, Helm Steve. <clears throat> One guy is just sitting there. Yeah, he looks like Rohan's he's, uh, not even anywhere near war. They really should be more nervous. I mean, Jesus, they're, <laughs> they're doing, they're taking this incredibly well. <clears throat> I will muster and I will increase these guys. Okay. Um, Let's see. It looks like I can get one elite, uh, uh, two leaders of any two different friendly and free settlements. Yes, I'll take that. Oh, leaders or. Uh, yeah, two leaders of any two different friendly ones in price. So I'll get four leaders, I think. I'm doing that right. You're not doing that right. I'm not. You get two leaders. So two different settlements. You can do a leader in a... <clears throat> um, two leaders in any two different friendly settlements. Or you can do two regulars in any two friendly settlements. Or you can do one leader and one regular army in two different settlements. Is that... Oh, um, that, one, that one... One leader and one regular army in any two different. So is that that's, uh, two leaders and two regular? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll take that. So here are your two leaders and here are your two regulars. I don't know. I just, two no, different regions. Just where they're going, right there. <coughs> All right, and that was this? Yep. Now it's my turn. Okay, yep. All right. Um, let's see. I've got six cards. I might as well start playing some cards. I got these Palantir actions. Um, let's see. If the Fellowship is one step one or higher on the Fellowship track, I can move the Fellowship to an adjacent region. All right. I'm going to play this card. Um, the Black Captain commands play if the Witch King is in play. He is. You can either recruit two Nazgul in the region containing the Witch King or move any or all of the Nazgul. Then you may move or attack with an army containing the Witch King. So we are going to summon two Nazgul. Holy shit. And then I can move or attack with the Witch King. And we're coming in, baby. Oh, we're having a field fight? Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is not good. Tom's aggressive. All right. 
I keep forgetting I have the elven rings. That's right. You can use those rings for anything. All right, cool. So we get to play combat cards if you want. We're in combat right now, and we're not in my stronghold. We're in um, one, two, three, four. Hilarious. <laughs> I think I'm going to play this. Do I want to do this? Yeah, I'm going to leave one guy behind. I want to hold this. Ah, uh, what to do, what to do, what to do. All right, we're just in a normal region, so we all we both hit on fives or sixes. It, where's Fangor? I keep asking that. It's here. Nobody's there. Fangor. Fuck, nobody's there. Nobody's there. Shit. I'm playing this card. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? This isn't going to work. Don't fuck with the Witch King, baby. Oh, I'm in trouble. I'm in big trouble. He's going to get me. He's going to get me. Okay, here we go. Let me see if I can uh, get this. We'll pull the combat rule. All right, I'm going to use this. All right. Wonder the reveal. All right, mine says play if uh, total Nazgul leadership is two or more. I it do is. have two Nazgul in there. Uh, forfeit two points of Nazgul leadership to add one to all dice on your combat roll. All right, here's mine. Before combat, I roll an additional attack using only the free peoples of elite, of uh, free people elite units to a maximum of five, and reply the result. Or the results then. It's charging. I'm charging you down. Okay, so you get a free attack basically with your elites right now. Basically, so you have yeah. two elites in there, so you can. Um, I have the leader and the elite. I have Gandalf. Does that count? Or nope. Uh, your elites are these two guys right here. <clears throat> so just two. Yeah. Oh wait, did this guy come with? Yeah. So you have three. All right. So roll three dice, and on a five or six, you get hits. God damn it! All right. All right. So Nothing. that was your card. Lame. Right. Now we're rolling combat, and I, you hit on a five or six. I hit on a four, five or six. I have one, two, three, four dudes. No, I have one, two, three plus two for the Witch King. It's five, so I'm rolling five dice. Wait, we have combat dice. Oh, five dice. Five dice. Ready? Six. Right, don't now. Don't touch him yet, because you're gonna get re rolls. Okay. Um, so you have one hit, right? Should I have re-rolled for the other guys for the first thing I did? No. No. Okay. Um, right. So I I hit on a four, five, or six, so I got two hits. And now we get to re-roll. I have three, I think. Well, I forfeited my um, Nazgul leadership to get it. So I have one, two re-rolls. So I get two re-rolls. Okay. And I get two, I think. Yeah. Damn. All right. Well, at least I got two hits. All right. And I got four hits. So um, two of my guys are dead, which means I'll just kill one of these elites. And four of your guys are dead. All right. How do I pick these off? Um, well, elites are worth two he healthies. So you can get rid of two elites. Or you can get rid of uh, one regular and, um, and downgrade an elite to a regular if you want. So downgrade this to a regular. And then I guess just two of these guys? Just two of those guys is the easiest way to do it. Uh, all right. This here for now. All right. And now you get to decide do you want to retreat or do you want <clears throat> to keep going? Retreat. Retreat. Pull back. So you get to pull back to any adjacent regions. So uh -huh. you can go back to Angmar or you can. We're going back to Angmar. Right. Oh, 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 we do that to keep um, a marker. Oh, okay. They were yeah. already at war, so. Who's not at war right now? Uh, only the Northmen and the Rohan. Okay, the Rohan don't want a Rohan or chicken. Yeah. Now, um, yeah, that means we are now in Mount Blah Blah Blah. And this guy stayed in Mount Gunnabog. Okay. All right. That's the end of that combat. All um, right, then. How many more dice do you have to spend? 
I uh, have only character dice here, so. We can put these combat dice back here. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so. Oh, all right. Now I have character dice. And I can change. I can use the elven thing to yep. get the. Yeah, what do I want to do? I can. I can't. How much more elves do I have to reinforce? You have. <laughs> it looks like you only have one elite left. And all the rest of these are Northmen and Rohan. And dwarves. You can reach. You can get a bunch of dwarves out. There's a bunch of dwarves. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it. I messed up. I had the ability to turn off all your Nazgul leadership that turn. God damn it. I really. All right. I got to hold on to that. All right. So I guess I. And remember, Gondolf gives you plus one in combat. So you could have rolled one more dice, maybe. All right, well, I got to keep track of all that. So then Gimli's worth an extra one, too, when he moves. All right, so I'll use the character action to uh, move Gimli over here. Uh, where? Right here. Here? Yeah. And you want to bring, uh, bring, bring, bring Bring everybody. Bring the whole party. Right, What's up, gonna, son? You're going to leave Erebor unguarded? <clears throat> uh, for the time being, yeah. All right. You're going to make it easy on me. Ha ha. All right, then. Um. Your turn, or... Yeah, your turn. Uh, you have less dice than me, so you can choose. Yeah, I guess huh. it is my turn, yeah. Uh, I'm going to muster... I'm going to drink. You want to drink? Yeah, go for it. What do you want? Uh, just another beer. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to muster... What can I do? How many elites can I get? One elite in any friendly settlement. Um, yep, yeah. let's go ahead and one do... beer. Oh, thank you. Let me get the other one. And then we're going to put this guy... Where are we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's put him right in there. Nope. It's got to be in a free settlement. Yeah, I better put him up here. All right, free people's turns. You got character actions. <laughs> if you try to move the fellowship right now, I'm definitely going to find you. I'm going to use an elven ring. I'm going to okay. swap this out for um, yes. this one. I'm going to use this. Recruit one dwarven unit. Regular, I'll have an elite, please. And one dwarven leader in right, Eobor. First, give me that elven ring. There you go. You can take the fire one. All right. Burn it. <laughs> now, an, a dwarven... Elite and a Dwarven Leader, please. Dwarven Elite and Dwarven Leader. Oh, wait. Those are two leaders. Yeah, they same. They look great. There we go. Now, that's a proud-looking Dwarven Nation. Mm -hmm. We're waking mm -hmm. up. <clears throat> Let me see if I can get a... Do, do, do. We're do, coming do, do, for you. We're coming do, for you. Ah, uh, yeah, and these we're like, Oh, we'll just go. Uh, we're just gonna go around the back here. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you what? mean the back? What do you mean the back? <laughs> All right. Um, it is my turn. I'm gonna use an army action. <clears throat> I'm going in for the kill, baby. <laughs> Hold fast. All right. Oh, the hilarious part is I'm only rolling three dice because my Witch King. Well, the Witch King's two, so I'm rolling four dice. But I have basically three, four rerolls. Okay. You're three coming rerolls. in? Yep. I'm coming in. So we got that combat dice. Oh, right. first and also if you want to use a combat card. Yeah, I think I might. I got nothing. Yeah, nothing? Let me see if I got anything cool. 
All right, I'm gonna do. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. No, I'm not playing any cards. Fuck it. Let's just do it. All right. Uh, oh, you know what, though? I'm coming in on you. So this first attack, I need sixes to hit you. <clears throat> and you need fives or sixes. I think I'm rolling five dice because Gandalf is an extra one. Uh, it's uh, one, two, three, four. Your leader doesn't count. So you have one, two. Oh, isn't that right here? Uh, Gandalf gives you one. Okay. Then you have one regular and one elite in there. Oh, just three? Just three. Shit. And I have Witch King, which gives me well, two. Hold on one second. <clears throat> if Gandalf the White is in battle, at the start of the battle, I can forfeit his leadership to negate all Nazgul leadership, including that of the Witch King, for the rest of the battle. Oh, there you go. I'm going to do that. All I right. should have done that before. <laughs> yeah, you should <clears throat> I didn't. I forgot. I, I didn't know you rules. could do that. Yeah. Lots of, okay, so then, now what do we roll? Uh, you're still rolling three dice. I'm rolling three dice. Uh, the Nazgul's are not leader of the Nazgul's get no rerolls. And uh, Witch King doesn't get a reroll either. So, yep. What are you rolling? Four? I'm rolling four dice, and this is all I got. All right, and you no got to roll re-rolls. six. I got. I need sixes. I want six and a five, yes. Yes! Fuck! All right, that's nothing. I took. You took two. I took two. And make those weird ass sound effects like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, hang on. I'm gonna retreat. Thought I heard my phone. All right, he retreated. The dog has all. The dog has all. All right. So right. now that's done. What yep. else? So you got a character die, and I've got a palantir die. All right. So <clears throat> the leader moves. Uh, it's a play an event card. Okay, play an event card, I guess. But I have nothing really to play. So. I can attack with the leadership card if the leader is, like, not... If the leader is in an army, I can attack with that card, I think, right? With that card, with that die. Yes. You could use it to have <clears throat> Gandalf use that army to attack. How much is that worth? What do you mean? As far my, as my dwarven army, is that, like, how many... You're rolling four dice, and you get one reroll. <clears throat> and you have five guys? And I have five guys and no reroll. And I hit a five, hit on five and a six if I go in? You do hit on five or six, and I also hit on five or six. I think I also get plus one because Gimli's in there, too. If Gimli is in battle, add one to the combat strength. Combat strength. You can still roll a maximum of five combat dice. Combat strength, what does that mean? Uh, that means you're rolling one, two, three, four dice, and one reroll. That's it? That's five it. and six hits? Four dice and a reroll. About five and a six and a hit, right? Five and a six and you. <clears throat> and you're going for these guys? Yeah, I think I'm going to attack them. All right. Uh, combat cards? Mm. Nope, nope, nope. I'm, I'm on the borders of the nations of the free people. Yeah, I think I got this. All right, I'm going to play this combat card. Oh, do I want to do this? Fuck. Ah, oh, the Shire. All right, here we go. Ready? <laughs> yep. All right, Relentless Assault. What's the number on your card? Three. Three minus three, two. Before the combat roll, I can inflict and apply up to two hits against my units and then add one to all dice on my combat for that each one I hit. Oh, you're going to get mad at me. You're going to get mad at me. Oh, did you cancel my card? Subtract one from all dice on a combat roll of the shadow dice. Uh, an unmodified six is still considered a hit, but now you have basically have to hit a six, I think. Right. I think I'm doing this. I think I'm saying yep, that, right? Yep. Yeah. So I would normally be a five or six. Your card makes it a six. Now, however many people I kill, I can minus that. Okay. So I'm going to kill two people. Oh, shit. And that means I hit on a four, five, or six, but I'm only rolling three dice. All right, and I'm trying to hit a five and six, and I got four dice. Four dice? Uh, four combat dice. strength. Add one to the combat strength. Yep, so you have four dice. Okay. Fuck! You got a six. I got one. One of you is dying. Six and five. Yes. Got him twice. That's two guys. And you get one reroll. Yeah. Oh. Nope. All right. Did I lose one little dwarf? Yep. Oh. Uh, re- uh, <coughs> yeah. Yeah, regular. Yep. Okay. Yep. If you lost an elite, you would get in a regular back because you split up. Okay. 
Um, so that's the end of my moves. All right. And then I have this Palantir action, which means I can play a card. And I'm going to use it to draw a card. All right. That's it. That's it. All right. Get our dice back. And you have these. Nothing yep. happens. I get them back because you didn't move the fellowship at all. I did not. You can put these combat dice back. Please. And we draw. And we draw. Yep. Up to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is Rohan at war? I don't think so. Nope. Rohan is up here and waiting to be at war. They're active, though, so you could... If you had three muster actions, you can make them at war. Hmm. Let's roll the dice. Unless you're going to do anything. I'm going to put at least one dice in the hub box just in case you're trying to keep me in check. Huh? Trying to, get trying crazy. to keep me in check. Let's see. Oh, that's a good move for your army. Oh, that's really bad for me. Shit. This can be difficult. We got some armies going now. All right, so card, card. Decent. I got some card playing ones. Okay. And a random and a muster and everything. Okay, jeez. Okay, what the heck do I do? Uh, this is going to be a tricky one. Oh, we're coming in now. Oh, oh shit. All right, so I guess I go first. You go first. Free people always oh. goes first. <clears throat> That's another one. Okay. All right. Well, I'm running out of cards. Oh, the cards that I'm getting are not that great. So, um, I could probably draw. Do I draw one if I use that? Yeah. And then you might get something that you could use later. Yeah. <clears throat> you can choose from any stack. I can also muster, I think. Can I muster one elf person right there and then one uh, uh, Gondor people person right here? Uh, yes, because they're both at war. I'll do that. Um, well, actually, you only have one elite. Yeah, I, I, I expect that. Elf. And I think you... Is it one elite? One elite in any friendly settlement. Yeah, so that's it. If I detach people from the fellowship right now, where do they spawn? They will wherever the last known position of the fellowship is. You can do four spaces from that plus their character movement. Four spaces from that from the okay. So like, I think I know what that is. I think I get it. All right, let's see. Um, I think it's your turn though. It's my turn. I think I'm gonna do um. Yeah, I'm gonna do an army action. And we're gonna move. We're gonna move this army. We're gonna split it. Man, man, man. All right. Yep. We're gonna move one, two, three, four, five that way, and one, two, three that way. Oh boy. What's that? That, one, I mustered two, three, there, right? Four. You did what? I mustered one there and one there. You, if you wanted an elite, you could only do one elite. No, I asked if we could do it in one in each territory because they're both at war and they're allies. Yeah, but um, when you muster, you can do one elite unit or any you can free, do two leaders and two <clears throat> friendly units or two, two regular. Yeah. Two leaders and any two different friendly settlements. Yeah, I wanted to have one up there. That's an elite. Uh, this is leaders. <clears throat> leaders are the ones with the flags. Oh. Elites are double health. Any dudes. regular units in any, any two different, two regular units in any two different friendly and free settlements. Yep. So I can put one up there and one in there, right? Well, you don't have any other elves left. The only yeah, I know, elf I know. you have left is uh, this elite. I know. I so want if to you want to do regulars, <clears throat> who do you want to do? What I was asking is, that can I put this guy up there and then also one in here? You cannot. Okay. If you want to do an elite, that's that's one thing you can then do. Then let me get just Gondor. Let me just bolster that up a bit. Okay. Uh, so what do you want to do for Gondor? You want to do... Two regular units of any two different... Yeah. Let me get... Um, two regulars? Two regulars, yeah. That's it. 
because all your leaders are out, right? I think oh, you have one more. I have one more, yeah. Can I get one? You could put a leader with one of those regulars. There we go. Okay. All right. So that's my turn. And right. uh, that's it. So now it's your turn. Now it is my turn. Wait, did you? Yeah, you did that. That's what I did. Or these? Oh, that's these are mine. Your, gotcha. Just leave my shit All right, anywhere. I'm going to... We're going to start taking over some shit, man. Try me. I'm just going to put this... It's me. All right, I think we're... You know what? When I did that, I'm going to do that. And we're moving in. <clears throat> Screw it. It's time to attack. Oh, boy. Where are you going? Minas Tirith with these guys. You come at me. All right. So put those there. All right. So you want to fight a field battle? No, I'm retreating. Oh, you're retreating? Okay. So you get to choose five guys to take in. You've got two leaders. Oh, I see what you mean. One, two, three, four, five. So you can take them Actually, all. you know what? No, I think I'm going to fight. If I'm going to lose men anyway, I might as well have at least uh, one charge. You won't lose anybody. I won't? You have five dudes here and two leaders. I won't lose. Okay, so that's fine, right? Yep. The leaders don't count for that. Okay. That's right. <clears throat> All right, then. All right, that's it. All right, next. <clears throat> this is a while. I really don't have any cards to play, so I might want to consider using the Elven Rings again. Yes. I got and remember I have Rohan's way up there, right? Rohan is way up there. All right, I'm going to use my Elven Ring again, one of these. Yes, give me all the rings. <clears throat> oh, Mordor loves the ring. <laughs> I'm going to have these guys charge them in the battlefield. All right, my two little dudes. Yep. Let's and play a, some combat cards. The whole army, okay. Let's see. Four battles, uh, you only have two little guys. I'm going to play... No, no, no cards, no cards. All right, I'm going to play this card. <laughs> Deadly Strife! Both armies add two to all dice on their combat roll and re leader re-roll. Damn, that's a strong one. Okay. So we're both hitting on four, five, or six. I'm rolling two dice, you're rolling five dice. I'm in not in the stronghold, am I? Nope. No, we're just going. All right, so we all hit four, five, and six. We all hit four, five, and six. This is going to be a bad one. You want to roll first? Son of a bitch. Oh, that's not good. That's no good, Tom. That's no good. Let's see. All right. Well, the good news is you only got one hit. Only one hit. All right. And then I get to re Oh, and I get to re-roll. Hang on. I have leaders. You do get to re-roll. One, re two. So I roll two. Yeah, you're not going anywhere, son. You're not going anywhere. Did uh, I die? Yep. All right. And they all, move, all of them move out, right? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> all right. We're coming, boys. Oh, part of the we're show. coming. Oh, we're coming. <laughs> this is so fun. When it does unfold, it unfolds very nicely. It's very thematic, right? All right, that was my turn. Now it's my turn. And I used no, I used no, the, that was uh, your that turn. Was you attack me. Yeah. And I used that for the, the action there. Sorry. Now it's yeah. your turn. All right. Well, you have less dice than me, so you could always yeah. It is, is my turn. Yeah. It is your turn. All right. I got an army, I got two musters, two armies and two musters. <clears throat> Um, I think I'm going to use this character die. No, I'm going to use an army. Just to move some armies. I'm going to move these guys to Osculiath. I'm going to move... Gotta get these guys moving. Let's just move these guys over here. All right, your turn. Okay, one sec. Oh, this is tricky. Now I'm now I'm in a bit of a pickle here. I don't know what to do. 
I've got two card playing ones, and I don't have many cards to play. Like, I have a few, but not, I have one, but like, I'm debating if I want to use it. And, um, I got one wild, so I could muster. And I could just move, you know, move armies, but <clears throat> uh, there's not much I can do with Gandalf and muster. I can't muster in Gandalf's position. Way up there. Uh, you can only. If you're going to use the muster to recruit, it has to be in a free region that you control. Yeah, and they're basically holding the line and shit. Yeah. Is, they're not, Gandalf's not in a stronghold, is he? No, this is a city. Uh, <clears throat> Angmar is a city. Okay. But Angmar is the birthplace of the Witch King. Oh, so, he's know, coming home. He's coming home. <laughs> oh, boy. That's right. <laughs> All right, in that case, um, tell me again how um, the fellowship separating, if I would, they, they spawn in over here, or I can announce the fellowship? You can reveal the fellowship. And what does that do with this? Um, it allows me to mm -hmm. roll, uh, basically draw from the hunt. I can, yes, I can search for you when you reveal, but also you can, um, you, you can move the fellowship four spaces. And if you end up in an area that, um, like, for example, if you ended up in a blue area, you could push the blue guys closer to war. And you get to heal corruption, but you don't have any corruption right now. So. That's actually kind of a cool deal. I wouldn't mind doing that. If I reveal, so if I reveal the fellowship, uh, let's see if one. But you have to do reveal the fellowship as part of the phase before we roll dice. So that's something you can do next turn. So okay, I, I, nothing. What happens if I? I'm mean, hang on. You already said all this. Um, I'm debating if I want to do that actually, because then. Right. Because right now all you can do is. <clears throat> progress the fellowship, hide the fellowship, separate companions. Or but those are characters, else. so I don't have that. Okay, I have a wild. I have one wild that I'm considering if I want to use that. I have really nothing to do with the cards. Yeah. Uh, all right, all right. What, so all you can do is move the fellowship if you want. <clears throat> but that would activate this, and I don't want that. You know, it's just going to have me roll two dice to see if I hit you. And I does have this to activate? Sixes. If I reveal the fellowship, does this activate too? Uh, no, because there will be no dice in there, because you're revealing the fellowship before we assign dice. Okay. I think I want to reveal them. You don't do it until the beginning of next turn. Gotcha. All right, then. All right, then. I don't want to move them then. Uh, now, remember, this just means that I roll two dice and I have to roll sixes to find you. So you could take another move and then move one more space up and take a chance that I won't roll sixes. I'm... Where, 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 are, we, where are you looking at? Right up there? <clears throat> what do you mean? What were you just talking about? What area? I'm saying you're four spaces away from Rivendell right now. The Fellowship is. Yeah. If you wanted to move the Fellowship again with your character dice or your Wild of West dice, you would move up one more space away from Rivendell, and all the penalty would be was I get to roll two six-siders, and if I roll sixes, I reveal you. If not, nothing happens. Uh, you know what? That's an idea. Let's do that, actually. <clears throat> oh. Uh yeah, no, that's the thing. I don't trust you. I do not <laughs> trust you. Uh, well, I have no corruption, so yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll go through with that. Yeah, you can take some corruption. You gotta get them closer to the thing. Let's make them. All right, so the move would be not this. This would be the wild. Yeah, you have to use your wild to make it a character, unless you had a card that says move. Well, I do have one. Hmm. I don't want to do this. All right, yeah, I'm stuck. I'm stuck on what to do, and I should not be listening to you at all because <laughs> you, you're really you're one, you're that. I mean, the name of the game is getting the Ring to Mordor, and you're only th four spaces <clears throat> away from Rivendell right now, and we're already halfway through the game. Yeah, okay. Uh, all right, let's yeah, let's go for it. All right, so you're going to use this dice yep. to move this up. And then you're going to roll. And this becomes a uh, character die. So that'll. So next time, if you want to do it again, I have bonuses. But right now, I just am rolling two dice, and if I roll a six, then you're revealed. Do not roll a six. Okay, That's cool. It. All right, I guess now it's your turn. And now next time if you want to move with one of your Elven Rings, let's say, then I get to roll on a five or a six because um, you have this dice here. Okay. All right. I think All I'm right, going to do an army die because I got to start moving some armies. One, two, three, four. Yep, I'm going to move these guys. 
So many options. Oh yeah. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna attack Lorian. Oh shit. Let's do it. We're next to it. We're ready to go. We're ready to rock. All right. I'm gonna pull back. Are you going to siege? Yep. All right. So you can get to keep that guy's for free. You get okay. one, two, three, three, four, five. Four, five. There you go. All right. I like this group. <clears throat> That's a good group. All right. I got a fucking plan, baby. Am I under siege right now? Uh, you are in siege, yeah, but we're not battling yet. I have to attack you again to, to battle you. Okay. Because you retreated mm -hmm. like a little pussy. Oh, bitch, I'm, re I'm in it to win it. <laughs> I'm in it to win it, son. You ain't going. You in my house. This is Lord of the Rings. <laughs> we both only have one military victory. <clears throat> All right. We're both good. Bring it. All right. What do we got to do? Just roll. Um... No, no, I'm done. It's your oh, turn. you're done? Oh, my turn. All right, my turn. turn. I got two cards. I'm going to draw. What should I draw? Should I draw? Yeah, I'll draw one of these. Not much else I can do. Here we go. All right. I'm going to... Everyone's activated, right? Everyone is active, but <clears throat> only... Uh, you need Rohan and North to be at war. They're not at war. Yeah, they really don't care, and they should fucking care. <laughs> right? What do you need, people? Blood, and you're just waiting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to give you one of these rings back to turn this into an army dice. Thank you. And we are going to move these cats here. Oh, shit, Gandalf. Hold on, buddy. Here comes the rising tide. And I'm going to move these guys. Wait a minute. Stop. Hold on. I'm sorry. You got to go back. I have a magic shield over the elven areas. You can't attack or enter. Oh, that's true. <laughs> well, let me do this then. I'll go ahead and get rid of an army action dice, and I'll get rid of an army and a... Uh, you need to get rid of, let's see, one action die, one army event card, and one character event card. Out of your hand. Character event card, army event card. All right, there you go. Cool. That's fair. Right. Oh, now the, the, the seal has been broken. The seal has been broken. No! All right, and then I'm gonna move one more army. Um, I gotta get these guys out of Azagar, but I can't attack you. So I can't go to Thangorn. So let's move. Let's move these Moria guys out. Oh shit. All right. Oh, the elves are gonna die. <laughs> All, All right, right, then I'm going to use. And the fellowship has not been revealed. I, I, if I separate someone from the fellowship, and their movement is four, that means I start from like. I, I, do I start here from counting their four? Their movement is essentially nine. Nine, okay. Because you're at five, so they're nine from Rivendell. You can put them nine spaces away from <clears> Rivendell. I am going to use this ability right in here. Play the card. I separate one companion from the fellowship. <clears throat> I'm going to separate Legolas. Shit. When he enters a castle under siege, the siege is broken. He also increases his max combat die by one. Just so you know, you can separate more than one companion. Oh, yeah? Yeah, if you want Legolas to be with Strider, let's say, or something like that. I'm worried about separating Strider, though. That's the thing. Yeah. <clears throat> well, right, but in that getting case... Strider to Gondor is the only way you get your extra action dice. Shit, yeah, hang um... You're right. I do have to do that. Yeah, I'm gonna. You actually don't have to do it, but separate, it's just something. But to think it's, about. it's 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 a card ability. It's separate from the fellowship. Oh, I see. You're yeah. using the card. Never mind. Never mind. Or uh, separate from the fellowship, or move one champion, one or no. one group of champions, as if they were level four. So right, right. it's just gonna be Legolas. Where's the Legolas piece? Legolas's little uh, chick piece is right there. Yeah, he looks like a girl. He's gonna move in here, and it's gonna end the siege. Um, you cannot go into a sieged area. If Legolas is in an unconquered elven stronghold, you may use the action dice result. Any action dice. Oh, so he can't get in there yet. He can't get in there Shit. yet. Shit. Yeah. All right. Legolas shows up. He's like, uh-oh. So you got to put him somewhere on the map that's <clears throat> at least five away from window. We'll avenge them or whatever. <laughs> you know, it's better. All right. So that's done with that. Hey, Red Hood is here. 
What up, dude? I'm off work. Let's not drive home. How goes the battle? What up, Jason and Tom? What up, Red Hood? We are in the midst of a very We're bad... In the midst of it. No, it's not good. It's not looking we'll good see. for the free peoples of Middle Earth right now. It's quite grim. All right, I have one die left. That's a uh, character die. And um, I think we've got to we've got to go into Angmar. I think it makes sense. <sighs> or I could do one of these sieges. Sieges are a pain in my ass. <clears throat> Hold the line. Hold the, Hold line. the line. Yeah, let's go into Angmar. All right, Angmar. I don't have the option to siege there. You don't have an option to treat like a pussy. That's true. So let's see what kind of. Uh... All right, what are we doing? Playing combat card if you got one. Hmm. All right, I got this one. All right, I got this one. Foul stench. Oh, yours goes first. What does yours say? Before combat roll, roll an additional attack using a number, a number of dice equal to your leadership up to a max of five and apply the results. So I have one, two leadership, I think. It's basically an extra attack. Yep. I think that's two. No, that's two, is the yep. elite's not on me. Yeah. Uh, Gandalf counts as one. Okay. Gandalf counts as one. Yep. So okay. Nothing, yep. nothing happened. Oh, lame. All right, your turn. All right, I have foul stench. Play if the total Nazgul leadership is one or more. If the Nazgul leadership equals or exceeds the total free people's oh. leadership. I can also use Gandalf's ability to get rid of the, uh, the Nazgul thing. Oh, right. The uh -huh. rerolls? Yeah. yeah. Oh, we're not there yet. Uh -huh. um, so this is uh, if the Nazgul leadership exceeds the free people's leadership, which it does, the leader rerolls are canceled. So both of our rerolls are canceled, basically. Oh, shit. So we okay. don't get the rerolls. Yep, no re-rolling. So four dice versus three dice. All right, let's see. This is actually still chance five and six. You have four, three dice, I have four dice. Fives and sixes. Six. All right, that's something. Two sixes. So two of yours are dead. And one of yours is dead. Or one elite for you. And one of mine's dead, right? Yep. All right, we're going again unless you want to retreat. Um, I would retreat. I wouldn't be able to hold the line. Do I want to make this their last stand? I, I, I those areas are pretty much lost at this point. You remember, Gandalf <clears throat> dies. If... Yeah, I think we should get the fuck out of Dodge. I think we should retreat. We're gonna retreat. We're gonna go this way. All right. Ho ho ho. And now this little guy can just go. Me me me. Uh, but you are now at zero victory points. And you're at two. Nope, because that's my already. <clears throat> gotcha. Oh, God. I don't get credit for stuff that's uh, yours. If it's it, blue, uh, if I capture blue shit. The failed campaign in the north. <laughs> All right. So then I guess we start over, right? That's it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, oh, we have to do go away. this too. Nothing? Nope. I just have to remember since you did it once, I have to leave one dice in that box. Okay, cool. Draw cards. Draw cards. All right. Whoa, ha, ha. The eye can see all. Uh, see first, do you want to reveal the, the fellowship? Now's the time to do it if you want to. Oh, and, and uh, fuck. I keep forgetting what this does. Um, you can heal one corruption, which you don't have any. Nope. You can move up to five spaces from here and show us where you move. And then whatever region you're in, if that uh, you can move that. I think I'll, up the yeah, I think I want to do that actually. I think I want to spawn the fellowship right here. Because uh, you went one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. All right. This goes back to zero. And um, you, the blue people, go one more up. Okay, it's something. Jeez. All right, this is getting this is getting uh, stressful. All right, now we roll, right? Um, yep. Oh, come on, give me a good hand. Give me good. Give me good. Give me good. All right, let's see. Yeah, that's a good hand. That's pretty good. All right, what do I got? Any eyes? No eyes. I got a palantir. I got muster. 
three character dice and four army and muster <clears throat> dice. All right, three peoples get to go first. I am going to have Legolas move. Legolas movement is two, I think, right? He moves two, yep. All right, he's Down there. In, he's coming in. And I think that's all the character dice does? You can move <clears throat> all companions. All right, so Gandalf's attack. Unless you were attacking with a companion. Gandalf's movement is three, so he can go one, two, three. Yeah, he's going to go back to Rivendell, defeated and shamed, <laughs> but alive. <clears throat> All right. Okay, now um, I have also Gimli. Hang on. It says here I can move an army with a leader. Uh, purpose of an army movement, okay. <clears throat> it doesn't attack. So I can't attack with an army if, I'm using, if Gimli is there because I already moved everybody, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and that's nobody else. <clears throat> I gotta get Aragon the fuck out. All right, your turn. All right, <laughs> let's see what we can do. Um, we gotta start. I think I'm gonna just start moving some people into better positions because I'm a really shitty. Like Sauron might have a lot of people, but he's a really shitty planner. <laughs> All right, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attack Rohan because I gotta start getting these Isengard units down. Oh shit! To the area where they need to be. So. We are going to use this army dice to move. You're right on the border. Yeah. Rather than moving them, we just point. Yeah, I'm just looking at what I got. Two elites and four regulars. Uh -huh. Oh, and this whole thing is here, actually, right here. Yeah, this is uh, Helm's Deep, so you guys are in this little area here. Can I move that? We don't need to move it yet, because you guys are, this is the Fords of Isen. <clears throat> okay. So I'm attacking you guys there. We are going to retreat. Um, you're not in a stronghold yet, so... No, but I'm, we're just going to pull back. Or are you just going to straight up retreat? Yeah, we ain't fucking with you. All right. Yeah, now we can probably move the, the piece. Yeah, if you want to move home, Steve. Yeah, just there. get some roll. It looks fucking dope, though. Hang on. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. Now we're cooking with gas. Oh boy. Poison God. Mm. All right, All right, my turn. turn. <clears throat> um, I can random that can separate from the fellowship, I think, right? Say again? If uh, if I use one of these, I can separate the from wild, them. yep. You can turn it into a character die, and then you can separate as many companions as you want from the Fellowship. You've got Strider and Boromir and Perry and think, Mary and Pippin. Uh, I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to separate Strider and put him into the group with uh, Legolas. All right. Uh, yep. And just so you know, he can move his yeah. movement. But I mean, does he move with that army? He moves from the fellowship that many spaces. Yeah, I just want to move him from there to the army. If I yep. can move more, I'll move more. But if I can't, then that's where I'm going to end it. You should be able to move more because he moves three, right? <clears throat> yeah, just so the fellowship's here. You can move one, two, three if you wanted. You can move one. No, two, I want to put Aragon in that army with. Legolas. Oh yeah, that's, that's no problem. Yep. Yeah, so I, they can't move anymore, right? That army can move if you want, but Aragon can't move anymore. That's what I mean. Okay. Random is that. Hmm. What's that? Could I hang on? Could I use that to turn into the character, or the, that actually counts as? Yeah, you're right. Any anyway, it was the leadership thing. So I just move. All I did was detach him from. The, all right, I'm good. I think I'm good. So yep. now Strider's out. Strider is out. He's ready to go claim his kingdom <clears throat> of Gondor. He's a coming, guys. Just hang on. Mm. The king is coming. All right. I'm using a character die to move all the Nazgul. I'm going to put a Nazgul here. I'm going to put a Nazgul. I don't have many Nazgul left. These guys are kind of crazy. I'm going to put one down here. I'm going to put one over here. 
And I get to also move the Witch King. Oh, boy. <clears throat> All right, that's my turn. All right. I will use the combat dice to attack this area right here. Dol Budar. That is a good one. Then huh. moving in. And I have... I'm going into siege. All right, go into siege. Let's see what we got. All right, what do I have? To roll one, two, you three. You gotta now do a separate <clears throat> attack action if you want to attack me in siege. All right, bet I'm in. All right, so that's my your turn. Now it's my turn. Yep. I am now gonna attack. Where? All of these guys are coming into Helm's uh -huh. Deep. I'm going to siege. <laughs> Yeah. Hilarious. Uh -huh. Oh, there's only four of them, though. Oh, Christ right. on a cracker. Can I, can he be alone? He has to be alone. He cannot move. He always stays in Orthanc. Okay. And armies can only move one space, right? But I can move two armies. You can move two armies as long as they're not attacking. I'm going to have, I'm going to, uh, uh, hmm. All right, I'm going to use this to move my guys. going to move these guys over here. Is this one area connected? It's one area. Oh, then shit, maybe I, but there's oh, wait. a mountain here, so you can't, you got to go this way. All right, so I got to go over here, and I guess I caught another land, so I guess that gives me a point. Um, if you move into there, yep, then that takes a point away from me. It doesn't give you a point. Oh, okay, so now we're both. Now we're at zero. Yeah, we're both at zero. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So then now, I have one other army move. I think one other roll. I have. I can move one other you army. Can move one other army. Yep. Oh, what the fuck? That was a mistake. I shouldn't have done that. No, I know. Oh, right here. Boom. Come to the back door. All right. All right, and that's it. All right. It's time to attack you under siege. Oh wait, first. I'm going to use a mustard die. To have Saruman. Um, oh yeah, replace. Oh, it's got to be an Isengard settlement. Okay, never mind. Okay. All right, we're attacking. Attack! We're sieging Helm's Deep. All right. All right. So if you want any <clears throat> combat cards, now's the time to play them. Oh, I have them. All right. I think uh, how many how many are you attacking with? I have one, two, three, four, five. Five, right? Yep, I'll be rolling five dice and um, I'm getting three four rerolls. All right, I'm gonna go here. All right, here we go. Mine says uh, desperate <clears throat> battle, both armies add one to all dice on their combat roll and leader reroll. Okay. If your combat, if I hit you once, I score two additional hits. So all I gotta do is hit you once and you lose three guys. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah. All right, so you get five and I get four, I think. One, two, three, four. Yep. And also, is there any heroes with me? No. <clears throat> I'm hitting on a five or six. You're hitting on a four, five, or six. Okay. Oh my God. Three hits and I get. You got a oh, six there. Four hits and I get a reroll. Oh, I got one. All right, so I did hit you three times, but I get one reroll. Fuck. All right, so you lose three and I lose four, right? I'm done. You lose four, you're done. No, hang on. I don't. I have one more guy there. My bad. I miscounted. I well, no, you don't get to kill the leader. Oh, okay, so the yes. one. Three. Yeah, and then the leader dies because he can't be alone. Oh, they're dead. Yep. But I'm losing, but you hit on this four also, so oh, right. I'm losing basically two of these. 
or four. I'm I'm getting four hits, right? So I'll just take. <clears throat> I'll get rid of all the loot. The four regular guys. And uh, guess what, baby? We own Helm's Deep. <laughs> oh shit! Vengeance, vengeance, vengeance is all that matters right now. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, that was pretty good. All right, I am going to. You have one dice left. Yep. One wild. What's the what's the strength of this area right here? There is no strength. If you come in, you. Yeah, I'm going in there and I'm killing this motherfucker. <laughs> I'm pulling up. What's up, son? All right, I'm gonna use that wild to move up. To move that army in. Yeah. Son of a bitch. All right, so then I conquered this land. And Saruman's out. Do you lose a dice? I do lose a dice. Here you go. Yeah! Oops. I get it, I get it. Yeah, that was no good. But that's okay. Isengard was doing shit for me anyway. Yeah, actually, it wasn't. you weren't using it that much, actually. Uh, so this is right. becoming very... Oh, but actually, you can't do that. Take it back. Why not? Because I have to Rohan's be at war. Not at war. I have to be at Rohan's war. Rohan's not no, at war. Uh -uh. Fuck a fuck. Go back. Fuck no. Off. Well, you still have to lower me because I lost the territory. Don't, don't I have to automatically go on war? You you got you, Oh, I got two. Yeah. You got two, yeah. yeah. I, I have to go. I my tower back. <laughs> no, hang on. I have to go to. I must have gone down on the track because of that attack, right? Um, You were activated and did go. Oh, you did go down one because of the track, yeah. Damn it, Tom. All right, I'm got him. Shit. Whew. I knew there was a reason why I didn't defend <clears throat> that place. All right, well, now I have still have a wild. You motherfucker, you. <laughs> you motherfucker, you. All right. Hey, I'm thinking, now what do I do? Now what do I do? You need to get that ring to Mordor, Frodo, Mr. Frodo. There's only one dice in the hunt box. Yeah, but I also want to do something here. That's kind of safe. That's not so safe. <clears throat> Actually, no, I'm going to use it to attack that stronghold right there. And you have one guy. And Which, I have... Which stronghold? Right here. This is one under siege. Oh, I'm in siege. Oh, that's right. I went into siege. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you have one die. Oh, we got the combat cards, right? Combat cards... All right. Hmm. I think I'm not going to rage. I'm not going to do anything. No cards. All right. I'm cool. All right. I'm rolling one dice. I'm rolling one, two, three. I think three or for that four? Because there's two leaders in there. Uh, there's one leader and Aragon and Legolas. Aragon and Legolas. So you're rolling two dice. Oh, lame. But you get three rerolls. <laughs> All right. But really, you can only reroll twice. Yeah, boy. Oh, All right. Well, that's All it. right. Let me see if I hit you at all. Nope. All right, now I and go. The funny part is you needed sixes, and you got two sixes. That's right. That's right. That's very funny. I'm a funny guy, Tom. And now we're up two. <laughs> now we're up two. two. All that's right. It. I've got a. Uh, I've got a. You're going for a military yes. victory. Oh, this is fun. This is so much fun. Um, okay. I, but I had still. I have nothing to do this turn. I think you still have three dice to spend. Yeah. Um, well, I think it may be time. I'm gonna spend my one ring to turn this into an action. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. I'm gonna move these guys up here. And I'm gonna move. my life. I'm going to move one other army somewhere. I'm going to move these guys this way. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. Fuck. Oh. <clears throat> then I have a character dice and a palantir. I can play a card. I can recruit two Sora, Sauron units. 
from one Nazgul either in Mount Groom or Mount Armoria. Oh, yeah. I'll do it up there. So I'm going to play this Palantir dice to play this card. I'm going to recruit a Nazgul in Mount Groom and uh, recruit two Sauron units, regular or elite. Yeah, two elites coming in hot. Oh shit, that's not that's really not good. Alright. And then I have a character action left. And I think we're going to use it to have this guy attack your siege. <laughs> so we are attacking Minas Tirith. Right. Finally, the people of Gondor will fall to the Witch King. Huh? Five dice, right? You were rolling one, two, three, four, five, five dice. You have five total. And three re-rolls. I'm rolling five dice and also have three re-rolls. Um, but I need sixes and you need fives and sixes. All right, I'm going to play this card. Reddit says, okay, guys, I'm home. Catch me up. One person plays the free people. The other is Sora's army. Oh, my God. We you got, got it. From the beginning. You got it. That's pretty much it. <clears throat> this is all-out war. Minas Tirith has fallen. <laughs> Helm's Deep has fallen. Um, well, Minas Tirith is still under siege. We're going to see if it's fallen. But there's two. Seconds here. Oh, this is not good. It's not good for the peoples of Middle-earth, man. I'll tell you. It sucks. Mm -hmm. It's hard. Yeah. All right, let's see. Well, you're only one stronghold away from winning the game. Yeah, but I where could I get it? That's the thing. <laughs> it's 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 on. Everything's on lock. I guess. Here we go. Reveal. All right, I have swarm of bats, and at my zero, so it goes first. Cancel the effects of the combat card played by the free people's player. <clears throat> if the free people did not play a card, then I get to add one to my dice. But this was gonna say, if you roll a one, you basically lose a character oh that's like <sighs> all right so what do you have five against five five against five and we both get three re-rolls i think right that's right, all right this is no, done you get one reroll. no i get no, three two. three see that's minister my bad um no you're in minister yeah but these are two leaders and this is an elite okay so, so you're rolling five dice and you get two re-rolls i get three all right uh, you go you know what uh yeah, you need six. tell me how bad it is five nothing Nothing. It's nothing. So I get um, three rerolls. No, the foul creature. All right, oh, nothing. All right. nothing. One and a two hit, and I get two rerolls. Right. Two rerolls. All right. I still. I lost. You lost two. I lost two. Right. Hold strong. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. I am going to downgrade one of these elites. Still five. And we're gonna go again. Done. So, do you want to play a card? No, I don't think I don't think I will. I can't either. Go ahead. One six. There's a six. Yeah. And I get two rerolls. Oh, two hits. Two hits. Not good. Not good. Okay. One, One hit. Five. Yep. Yep. Okay, and two I get hits. two re rolls. Come on, give me sixes. Yes, four. Holy shit! I lose two. I and lose you lose four. four. All right. How many are you down to? <clears throat> I have three guys. Three guys. Yep. All right. We're gonna go one more time. I'm downgrading this elite. Oh so shit! So I basically have three dudes. This is coming down to the wire here. So I'm rolling three dice, and I get one re roll. Oh, I can't even do anything. Oh, everyone's like, I'm not even home. I can't even do anything. You go, go first. Five. Oh, All right, one hit. Yes! Three sixes! Yes! That's the best possible roll ever. Ah, oh, these monsters. All right. So I still have this. I have an elite, or a leader, and a guy. So I basically have one die to roll now. Yeah, one die to roll. You, you going again? It's, oh, I can't go again because I don't have any elites to downgrade. <clears throat> yeah. Fuck me. All right. All right. That's End of it. the turn. 
That's it. We get our dice back. All right, and then we draw. And we draw. Holy shit. These sieges are horrible. <laughs> For you, <laughs> this is what I need. Okay, what do I do? All right. Um, it's going to take you an action to rehide the... Um, yeah. Yeah. The fellowship, by the way, before you can move them, just so you know. Before, okay, thanks for that. Uh, All right, so I'm still rolling two, four, six, eight dice, right? Yeah. Yep. All right, let me see what I got here. All right, so I got two characters, two mustard, and one card. Okay, let me think what I can do. Any eyes? All right, lots of armies, Palantir, lots of mustering, lots of armies. There's a character dice. Okay, me first? You first. <clears throat> Am I to understand that Legolas can move? Aragon is in there. Does that mean the entire army moves three? Correct. You and, move uh, the highest uh, champion huh? level. And if I... um. <clears throat> And if I leave an area and no one's there, I still keep the points until it's conquered, right? Yep. You take a chit and you put it on there that says it's yours. Okay. Then I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the character. One, two, three. We move to Moria. No one's there to defend it. That's four points. I win. What? <laughs> no, no. These guys are in Moria. <clears throat> they are? I thought they were here. No, you moved them out. Did I move them out? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, dude. All right. Well, Moria was you got to we hold it to the end of the turn. Oh, I oh I did not know that. Yeah. Okay, now that was important. That was important to know. Shit! Oh, that changed my plan. I almost had you. But you might be able to. Maybe. You have one, two, three rolls, and I have one, two, three, four, five over there. Okay, if I move the entire army, that is. It's it's three to three dice, but you get two re-rolls. Um, Aragon and Legolas give them a plus one. Oh, I see. You get pluses for those, yeah. Yeah, because they're all, like, hanging out. Yeah, that's good. I didn't even see that. All right, so in that case, I got to do that. Uh, I should have waited. I should have waited. I had that. Mm, you can still do it. I can still do it. Oh, hang on. That's my phone. Oh. Oh, if I had known. All right, in that case... Um, if I don't do it, you're going to just back up and that's it. Although I could just fight you and just, you know, fucking take it from you. Yeah. There's only three guys there. <clears throat> if you go in and take it and then I fight you, you can go into siege. And I got to get you out of siege before the end of the turn. Okay. Character moves all the characters, right? Right. I think I'm going to move... Yeah, I think I think Gillen's gonna bust over to here, real quick. You're using a character dice. Yeah, because I can move more than one character with the character dice, right? Yep. Okay. And let, let's Gimli, what's up? What's up, fool? Are we moving over to? You going to Moria? Yep. All right. And now I have four victory points, and Moria is mine. All right, your turn. All right. Now we <clears throat> have to do this. Heard. This is a mm. alternate story where the uh, free people got real ballsy and just went hardcore with some of this shit. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, these cards suck. All right, I think I'm going to do a... I got to get my army in there. Where? We're attacking Moria. Siege. All right, so you can... All these guys in the Moria. Where is Moria? Uh, is Shadow he... Stronghold. Oh, yes, yeah, Shadow. <clears throat> okay, my turn. Your turn. Um, let's see. I can move. I'm going to use the move army. And this crew is going to go over here. And these guys are going to move up right over here. Hopefully, going to break that siege. This is fun. Mil the military <laughs> aspect is very good in this. Uh, you're going there. Um, wait, hang on a second. Everyone, no. This is no. He's not there. Okay, let's go. 
All right. Character action. He's coming here. He's coming here. I thought they couldn't move in there if you're under siege. I can't move in there. You can't move in there. <coughs> um. Do 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 do. All right, that's my turn. I am going to use this battle one to attack these guys in Minas Tirith. Or how does that work? Uh, an army. You have an army die. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to. Uh, this is a muster die. Yeah. Oh. Oh no. That's um. It's a muster die. You're right. You're right. Fuck it. I'm going to use this. Oh shit! You're gonna turn it into it? Yeah. 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 No. I'm, I think I'm gonna keep the muster, but I'm gonna change that. What do I want to do? What do I want to do with the cards? No, no. All right, yeah. Let me um. Let me replay. Oh, what is it? What, what am I gonna do with characters? Not with Gandalf. Not with Gimli. Yeah, I get rid of the character one instead, and I'll use that for going into combat against those three guys. Uh, where at? I'm sorry. Right here, moving into there. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay. Um, okay, so we got to. I got to attack that. How's this work? Uh, same thing. So you're just attacking. You have one, two, three, four, five. Five with two rerolls. I have three with one reroll. All right, let's do uh, combat cards. card. Let me see what we got. Nope. And that's Gondor. It's not us. Nope. Not. Is there a Nazgul in that in that battle? There is. Okay, nope, I'm no cards for me. I got a card. What do you got? Cancel the free player's card. If the free player doesn't play a card, I get plus one to all my die rolls. That's pretty good, actually. All right. And I'm not, you're not attacking me in the um, stronghold? Stronghold. Since you're attacking <clears throat> me in the stronghold, you need sixes to hit me. And you're not I, in the stronghold. You're holding it down. I, I'm, I'm holding the stronghold. You're sieging, you're sieging the stronghold, but this is still a stronghold space. If you're attacking the stronghold space, you have to hit me with six. No, no, no. What I mean is I ha I went into siege. You're outside on sieging yep. me, and I'm interrupting the battle from the outside. Yeah, you're doing a sortie against me in the fields. Yeah. But I'm still in the fields of the stronghold, so the area is a stronghold right. area, so no. you have to hit me with sixes. Hold on. No. Really? Uh, I can hit you only sixes in this? Yep. And I hit you with four, fives, and sixes because I just added plus one to my... Attacks, but I only rolling three dice. I don't know if that's right, man. I, I think I think whoever holds the siege down is um is the one who has that effect. Yeah, it's called a sortie. They call it an army inside a stronghold under siege may attack the besieging army by using an action die for battle. Battle blah blah blah. Um, a rear guard may be formed and left behind in the stronghold. Combat is resolved normally with both armies scoring hits. But if the attacker wants to cease the battle, the attacking army moves back into the stronghold. The besieging defending army may retreat. Well, that doesn't um, relieve the siege. Here we go. An army in an adjacent region can attack an enemy army besieging a friendly stronghold using the normal rules. Yeah. The army inside the stronghold does not participate in the battle. Okay. The attacking army cannot advance into the region containing the stronghold unless the besieging army is destroyed or retreats. While a stronghold is under siege, the besieging player can move new troops into the region, this is considered a movement, not an attack. Doesn't say. Doesn't say. But you're coming into a stronghold space, so I would <clears> imagine <throat> that's uh, it would make... Because what I'm imagining is like we closed Because the when gates. you didn't, when you weren't in the siege, I still had to hit you in a six when you were outside. Wait, no, when I was outside, I ran away like a bitch, remember? Yeah, but <laughs> if, I, if you hadn't run away, I would have needed six today. I don't know, man. All right, well. That's the rule for attacking any city or stronghold. The first attack has to be sixes, and then every other attack is five or six. Okay. All right. Let's see. In that case, what can I do? But if you keep attacking, every subsequent attack will be five or six. All right. I see It's just the first attack is a six. All right. Let's go. Let's go. And five against three. Hey, all right. A six. All right. Six and, and a five. And a six. So I got two hits, and you got one hit. 
Now you roll on fives and sixes. Do you want to keep going? If so, pick a combat card if you want. I don't have to sacrifice an elite, right? You don't. Okay, yeah, then I'm going to keep going. Uh, let's see. Not defending. Nope, I think I'm good with just the five. Um, all right, I'm going to play this card. They are terrible. Play if a total Nazgul leadership is one or more. I have one Nazgul in there. Uh, I can forfeit the leadership, so I don't get any rerolls, but I get plus one to all my dice. So I'm hitting on four, five, or six, but I don't get any rerolls. And I'm hitting on five and six, right? Yes. Yeah. And you have two. I have two. Yes. Yeah. All right, you go first. Ah, one. One hit. Yes. Oh, yes. Shit. Yes, three. Dead, dead, dead. Yes. Oh, man. Hell yes. Sweet. All right. Good job. And now the, the siege is lifted, and they all go over here. And the race of men is saved. <laughs> the kingdom of Gondor is rescued. All right. Oh, that was actually great. Okay, <laughs> shit. All right, now let me think. Uh, All right, so that was your turn, right? You that was my turn, and I used the ring, uh, the elven ring, to do the thingy. All right, now it's your turn. You have a lot of army things to do. All right. I am sieging you in Moria, right? <clears throat> yep. So let me use a... Uh, How many guys do you have in there? Uh, three. One, two, three. Yeah, let's do five. Because I mean, okay, it's it's one, two, three, but these count as like four because it's Legolas and Aragon. Yeah. All right. Cool. We're gonna do it. All right. What are we doing? Uh, I'm attacking you. I've got two regulars and one elite, and I've got the Witch King in there, and three Nazgul in there. So I'm getting the Witch King gives me plus two, so I'm rolling five dice, and I'm getting three rerolls. <clears throat> Well, let's see, I'm getting, so I'm getting one and two, and then two more for Strider and Legolas. And if Strider is not in the Fellowship, he can replace my Aragon, I can't do that. Uh, he's not an Elven, oh my god, this is getting tense. All right, I have this ability. You got it? What do you yep. got? Four. Three. Cruel as <clears throat> death, play if the total Nazgul leadership is two or more. I can forfeit two points of Nazgul leadership to add one to all dice on my combat roll. All right. So I'm going to basically, instead of hitting on sixes, I roll hit on fives or sixes. Before rolling the dice for your leader re-roll, forfeit Strider's leadership ability to automatically change the missed die to a hit. So I'm always going to get one hit. At least that's something for this turn. Uh, a missed die means a one, right? No, just uh, one missed die roll to a hit. I guess it's any, anything below. Oh, anything below. The idea is that instead of re-rolling, I just say it's a hit. Oh, I got you. I got yeah, you. yeah. That's okay. Cool. All right. So then, you want right. to roll first? So how many are you rolling? Four. Because Legolas and Aragon count as one. Oh, cool. And I'm rolling five. And I get one re-roll, but I'm rolling. I'm hitting on five and six. Son of a bitch. Oh, shit. Thank God. This is for the side of righteousness and good. Fuck. I got nothing. Five, five. All right, I got two, I think. And doesn't Strider get to change one? <clears throat> You're right. If I give up his leadership one, so that goes to a six, and I get one reroll because I have a leader. All right, so then three hits. Three hits. Ouch. Yes. And and these guys. They're all thinking like, wow, that friendship thing wasn't working out. We actually <laughs> made the right move by separating. You know, I mean, I mean, the dwarf was nice, but we couldn't talk to him. And like, so like, he's over there. And I, you know, <laughs> like, uh, do I, it's, it's your turn. Or? I can't go any further because I don't have any elites to push. So I'm done. All right, so I have a muster and I have a card. So let's yeah. see what I have in my cards. This isn't going to work. What's Endor's? Uh, Edoras? Edoras, yeah. There's Edoras. I still have that. I, I forgot that fucking thing was there. Look. Mm, yep. <clears throat> All right. I think I'm going to, yeah, I think I'm going to uh, use a card then. Move this over. Yep. Yeah. Uh, recruit one Rohan unit and one Rohan leader to Edoras. For Rohan! For the Riders! A regular? And a regular, yeah. <clears throat> Where are the regular Rohans? They're there. Ooh. 
And that's All it. All right. Oh, that's a card. I am going to do a muster action to convert using Saruman's ability to convert two regulars into an elite. I think I can do that twice. <coughs> um, in every Isengard settlement or replace two regular Isengard units in or two. Yep, okay. Okay. Uh, now it's my turn. But that's the end of, I, I have the muster action. Um, so Or diplomatic action. All right, so I have to just hold the line, and my areas are vulnerable. I can't recruit in an area that's under siege, I believe. Yep. And I can't recruit here, because, you know, the doors are there, but, like... All right, I just got to hold on, basically. Um, so I could probably move it down the... Um, oh, wait a minute. I can I use... Go on down to war? <laughs> I'm thinking of just doing that, yeah. Because now the name of the game is Hold the Fuck On, and you have character... What is this? Muster, muster, and <coughs> volunteer. <coughs> and I don't have any cards. Okay, okay, okay. Um, in that case, I got a muster somewhere. Can I muster here and here? There's a town here, but Rohan's yeah. not at war. Uh, all right. In that case, where, which one's Rohan? Rohan's here. Those Northmen did fucking nothing this yeah. game. Yeah, <laughs> <Northmen, laughs> Northmen are fucking useless. They don't even have a lot of troops. <laughs> My God. All right. They have a shit ton of troops in the box, but you got to get them to war, and then you uh, you can get them uh, going. Muster like crazy. All right. All right. In that case, um, I have to muster somewhere, so I might as well. I can't muster the blue guys. I guess. Do I want to muster the elves? I have nothing for the elves to muster. The elves are basically kaputs. Um, the elves are out. Yeah. You have one elite elf you can get out. How many dwarves do I have left? You have uh, two elites, three elites, and uh, oh no, two elites, one leader, and two elites, two leaders, and two regulars. All right. I guess I'll take that. I'll take the muster for the dwarves. All right. And there's only one elite for the elf, right? One elite for the elf. Yeah. All right. All right let's see. So I guess I take. Uh, for the dwarves, I'll take one leader and one regular for two different friendly and free settlements. Okay, so I guess I have to put them up there, and that's the only dwarven place right here. Nope. Yep, and the Iron Hills. <clears throat> take that back over here. Oh, there you go. Oh, wait, can I, I can do these little places? Yep, as long as they're brown colored. Yeah, the dwarves. Power to the dwarves. Power to the dwarves! I'm done, Tommy. It's up to you. I'm All at right. your mercy. All right. Well, I got a muster, so let's muster some stuff. Let's get Isengard going. I can, I'm going to muster an elite. Right, because you can do one elite or two leaders. Yep, I need to get elites out. I'm going to muster... Oh, it's so close. I can mm. taste it. I'm going to muster one more time, get one more elite. Uh, got another dog out here somewhere. Come on, you Isengard dog, you. We'll just use this for now. <coughs> then I'm going to use the Elven Ring. To make this an army action. Oh shit. To move these guys in. To where? To Moria. Oh fuck. And then my character action, I use the Witch King to attack you for siege. This uh, is it. All the oh no. I've got to do it. All right, I have four. I have no cards. So if you have any funny card business. How many are you rolling? Do, I'm rolling five until I run out of units. No, what about the panel? I'm getting card. a shit ton of rerolls. Fuck, I missed. Uh... Oh, I, I, it's not good. I, I misplaced a card. There was, I had, I had a decent card here. All right, so where are you attacking? Moria, and I have Aragon, and I have Legolas. So let's see. Then we're not in Mirkwood. We're not here. Mm -hmm. We got this. Yeah. All right, four dice. This is it, man. <coughs> Final stand. This could be it. Yeah. <coughs> I'm not defending Rohan. Gandalf's not in battle. This mess. It's just oh, a sea of plastic. This could be the fall of the king of the men. 
Uh, I got no or, cards. Or it could be your victory. If you yeah. can if you can fend off this siege, then um, you'll win the game. That's it. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. First things first, me. Right. And I get, yeah. So hang on, what's this here? It says, if Legolas add one to the combat strength of the free people, that means one dice, right? Yeah. So these are... So you're definitely rolling two dice, and then these guys are getting you one extra, so you're rolling four dice. Okay. And you get three rerolls. Oh, one hit. Damn it. I need sixes. Whoa, there's two sixes, and I get three rerolls. No, I get four rerolls, but I can't do that. All right, so you can take two hits, and I take one hit? Yeah. All right. And then I'm going to uh, go ahead and de elite eye is a thing to go again. Shit. All right. And now you're rolling three dice. Yeah, this ain't good for me. Oh, Legolas. One, and I get some rerolls. Hang on. All right, one hit. Any sixes? Five, Just one. Oh, one. And I get three rerolls. Oh, thank God. All right. I got two. And you got two hits? I got one hit. I have two dice left. Okay. So now I think you have. How I got many? one hit, so one of your guys died? Yeah, I took All one right, of your cool. guys, and one of my guys is dead. All right, cool. You are now rolling two. That's it. Oh, wait, the leaders. Oh, no. You got that one guy left. Huh? So you're rolling one dice. This is it. The last stand. All right. Hang on a second. You have five. You sure? One, I got two. one, two, three, four. Which king is five? <clears throat> oh, no. Aragon, Legolas. <laughs> I don't have anything. No, this isn't good. I think Aragon's fucked. Oh, wait. I have to downgrade one of these guys. Okay. To go again. Three. There it is. Aragon died. Aragon and Legolas. <clears throat> Two good. Oh, we were doing so good for a while there. Strider. Man, that was allowed to get Moria back. <laughs> Strider and Legolas lost. They are gone. Whew. They're in the dying lands as opposed to the undying lands. <clears throat> I should have just gave it to you because we're already at three hours. <laughs> yeah, really. That should have been that should have been a real ah well now what? Dude, that was awesome. That was good, yeah. All right. Um all right, we're done. So uh, now let's get our dice back and one more round. Let's see. All right, let's do. see. I got more sieges to go. And I got cards. This would have been nice. Hmm. All right. All right. Um, that was pretty epic. That was cool. I'm very disappointed. They all died. So these are all gone, eh? They're all gone. Man, all the magic is dying. <laughs> the age of men is over. <clears throat> age of the orc, which sounds disgusting. So you go up to and I go down to? Uh, you... Nope, that was your normal one. Yep. So I go down to. Huh. Uh, no, you had two already, so you're at two. I, yeah, I have Helm's Deep. So you're at four and I'm at two. Okay. And I have. Um... No, you have two? No, I'm at two. We're both so at we're two. Both at two. We're All right. Both at two. Yep. All right. So then I guess it's my. I guess we have to roll now, right? We need to roll. And we're both sieging. Well, I'm sieging a bunch of places. So let's see what happens. All right. I can, make, I can work with this. All right. I need these eyes. You're not getting a lot of eyes. Well, there's one. There's two. There's two? Cool. All right. All right, my turn. Try uh, try it again, three people. I'm, I'm uh, <laughs> Rohan on the diplomat track. One down. All right, you're like, fuck this. All right. All right. Um, yeah, I got to start protecting Saruman over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah come at me, bro. Come at me. But let's do this siege. Um, not this siege. Oh. Isn't, no. 
where am I suggesting? Oh, Lorian, right. No, not Lorian. No. Lorian, baby. We're doing it. Oh, oh shit. All right. Not Lorian. All right. The Elven. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm rolling five dice and a reroll. And I'm rolling definitely five. And one reroll? Yeah. Yep. I don't need oh, this is an evenly matched <laughs> army. Yes. Oh, I, yeah. That was a six. That was a six. All right. I get one reroll. I did some damage no to you, dude. Says. Three damage to you. And I got nothing. Shit. Yes. The elves persist. All right. Um, I think I'll go ahead and downgrade this guy to go one more time. I'm rolling three dice now. And I'm still on one of my own. One, two. Yeah, definitely five. Ah! <laughs> There's one hit. One hit, and okay. One reroll. Nope. One oh, hit. come on, wipe them out. Two hits Shit. and one reroll, right? One reroll. Ah, two, so I lose one. I lose two. <clears throat> All right, I'm done. You done? Yep. <laughs> Trying to whittle you away. Wasn't working. <laughs> All right, next. Red Hood, the game would have been over if you would have stayed, if you would have kept Moria. That's right. But don't worry, we can still do it. Yeah. Rohan, down on the track. We're at war. Oh shit. Oh, Han's at war, baby. All right, your turn, Tom. All right, it's time to readjust our stuff. Um, yep, so it's time to take an army action. Let's do it. Oh, you're attacking? <laughs> you want plenty of cards? Let's see. What do I want to do? Hmm. You rolling with two dice? Two We're dice and four. We're both rolling two dice, no re-rolls. Okay. And we both roll on fives or sixes. That's it. It's, it's the way combat was meant to be. Right here. Mono and mono. Here we go. I got nothing. What do you want? Before combat rule, retreat your army to an adjacent free region. <laughs> so I'm going right over here. All right. Hey, that worked out. Okay. My turn? It is your turn. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to use this to move an army. Moves are going to go right in Helm's Deep. And you guys are going to go up ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> All right. All right. Now I have Helm's Deep, so that goes up too. That's a stronghold. No, that's yours. Yeah. Oh, it's mine. Oh, you're right. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, damn it. You, oh, you just, oh, damn you're it. stopping me. You're just making it go longer. <laughs> Red Hood, he needs four <clears throat> points, and I need ten points. <laughs> and uh, you get two points per stronghold and one point per city. Okay. All right, my turn. This is the mountain range, right? Yeah. Okay, your turn. Um. Yeah, let's I know, all muster dice. Well, I guess I should muster some shit. Oh, so no. We, uh, I'm going to muster Isengard. Oops. Get that up. And thanks to um, Saruman's ability, I can muster... I can recruit one regular Isengard unit in every Isengard settlement. Wango. Wango. Oh, do I lose one dice because Aragon's dead? You do. Shit, that's not good. <clears throat> Wait, no. Aragon was not. No, I don't gain a dice from Aragon. Uh, he had. He's only when he's um. Oh, only when he's king. Yeah, yeah when, when he's Aragon. Yeah. I only have Strider. Yeah. Okay. All right, your turn. Move the armies. You guys go in here, and you guys are going up here. To the front, baby. Oh, shit. All right, mustering. <clears throat> muster, muster, muster. Oops. Pass that muster. Okay, my turn? Yep. All right, let's see. What do I want to do? Okay, I could attack. 
Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to move this to have them attack them. Oh, you're attacking these guys? Yeah. So it's, I have five dice, and you have five dice. All right, five and five. Hold on. Oh, shit. These are fives and sixes, our hits. Yeah, so, so you got three hits. Three hits. Well, I was going to use this. One of these. But um, they're champions in battle, or no? Nope, they're all regular guys. All right, I'm going to use that then, right. that card. It's uh, before I remove casualties and before uh, re-rolling. If you score two or more hits, I can cancel one hit. All right, so six and five. And I cancel one hit, so we both lose two. Yep. All right, can I attack again? Sure. Yeah. I'm rolling four. What am I rolling? You're rolling four. Okay. Oh, yes, come on, come on, come on. I can taste that victory. Come on. Five, one. Again? All right, now I'm rolling three. Yep, I got four. Go ahead. Yeah, 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 yeah. Six, six, six. Gone. Jesus. <clears throat> what was that about the best dice roll? <laughs> <laughs> All right, going over. Oh, shit. I know where you're going. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> but that is the end of my moves, so that's going to have to be it. I need to get four victory points. That means one other settlement that's the bad guys. And Maybe I have to hold it until the, yeah, until the end of the turn. <clears throat> and... um. <clears throat> Not going so good because Tom is good at the war games and I'm trying to pull some bullshit on him. It's proven to be a little difficult. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna use this mustard eye to play this card that says um, if Sauron is at war, recruit two Sauron regular units in each of three different <coughs> Sauron strongholds. Oh, damn it, really? Um, I don't know that I have any other Sauron strongholds. That one right there, see? Yeah, I should have said that. No, that's not a that's not a Sauron. That is a Sauron <laughs> stronghold. Yeah. I should not. Have said, I should get my big fucking. And I get yet. to draw a card. Okay. This is just mine. I haven't used this yet. Mm -hmm. No, I did. not use that. All right. All right. Now we have to uh, gather it up. Did he stay oh, here? Oh, I got two more. Oh, yeah, you do. Fuck. The shadow is not done with your pitiful free people stuff. Um, well, that's garbage. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, play if the Witch King is in play and with a shadow army besieging a stronghold. Am I besieging any strongholds? Uh, Lorian is still... Yeah, Lorian. Rivendale is right? not... Uh, yeah. Lorian is fine. Attack the stronghold. The siege lasts for three <coughs> combat rounds instead of one. Okay, so I need to get my dude over there. So um, I can't do that now, so fuck it. I'm just going to use this to grab, draw a card. And I'm going to use this final muster action to turn two of these guys into an elite. Oh, shit. Now we're done. All right. You have two dice in here. Anything happen? Nope. You didn't move. Um, yep. And you can't declare because you're already declared. You're right there. So I need to decide if I'm going to hunt dice, but you're not hunting, so fuck it. Let's yep. just roll it. Oh. All right. Good. Character, character. Oh, fuck. I knocked that over. Fuck me. Anything good? eyes <clears throat> too many eyes yes more eyes all right and we draw i've got enough all right i think i'm good all right so my turn let's see what i got um Who's what characters are out? Gandalf and yeah, them. Uh, I don't have muster. I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to use one of the rings here. Change that to a muster. The character to a muster, and then I'm going to get Rohan mustered up. So Rohan, I'm going to get one leader and one regular army unit. All right. 
right. Riders of Rohan. For two, for two areas. There's two regulars for you. And do you, I think you already have your leaders out. These not them? Nope, the leaders have five. So there's one leader, and there's two leaders. Gotcha. There we go. Okay. Put one of you guys here, one of you guys here, and them there. Oof. I hear you coming in. <clears throat> your turn. All right, I'm going to army action this shit. Yeah, I'm going to play an army dice, and I'm going to move this out of the way. Ah, oh, shit, really? And we're going to go... Huh? Blam. That's very not good. Leave some dudes in Warrior just in case you get any bright ideas. <laughs> this guy is here. All right, my turn. Your turn. Attack them. All these guys, attack them. All right. <clears throat> Um, just so you know, this is a stronghold. So even though it doesn't give you victory points, it is still you need sixes to hit. Me. That's not a stronghold. We've been playing. We've been playing against these. Yeah, they call it a fortification. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, it's just the first time you mm -hmm. attack it, you need sixes to hit. Okay. All right. Let's see then. So right, I'll attack you. So it's my one, two, three, four, five, and three rerolls. Yep. Two rerolls. Two rerolls. Okay. Five and against your two. Two with no rerolls. Yeah. Oh man, that's not good. Oh, that's very embarrassing. All right, well, nothing happened. Yep. Can I keep going? You want? Yes, I do. Destroy, kill, murder. <laughs> All right, five and a five. Right. And I get two rerolls. Two rerolls. Nothing. Five. So I lose one. Uh, and I have no rerolls. Yep, you you lose one, and I lose two. Yep. All right, here we go again. Is this four or is that five? One, two, th you're rolling three dice. Okay. With two rerolls. Five and two rerolls. Five again. That's it. You got me. There we go. All right. You're on the borders of Isengard. Isengard. <clears throat> All right. Well, well, well. What do I got card wise? Um, okay, I'm going to play this card with this Palantir. Play if a shadow army containing Nazgul is adjacent to or is in the same region as a free people's army. Roll a number of dice equal to the number of Nazgul up to a maximum of five and score one hit for every five or plus. Where are you doing it? So these guys are attacking this region. They can't pass the mountains. Ah, uh, shit. Connects. All right. Well, in that case, I can use Gandalf's ability. Well, that's only for it's we're not in battle yet. Yep, this is a card effect. Oh. So basically, I have two Nazgul. I'm gonna roll two dice. If I get fives or six on any of these dice, I kill somebody that's in there. Oh shit! Come on, Gandalf. Fuck! Fuck! There's a five. Huh? And what, how many do I lose? Uh, you lose one. So you have to downgrade this guy to a regular. Okay. Fuck. No, there's not many elves left. Okay, my turn. Um, I'm going to use the the army to invade Isengard. Invade Isengard. Okay. Oh yeah, that's no good. I got a plan.
Okay. I think, uh, yeah, that's a good plan. <laughs> I got no Nothing. cards I can play. I add all one to all dice on my combat roll. All right. Uh. So you're rolling on fives or sixes? Yep. I basically just you got have one die. Have one dice and one reroll. I have one, two, um, three, four. Four dice, I think? Well, Saruman adds, so I get two dice and one. Is this four, or am I reading that wrong? But um, I add you're one. You're reading that wrong. Uh, you get one, two, three. And I add one. So I'm hitting on four, five, six, right? Uh, nope, because you're attacking a stronghold, so you oh, normally you, need oh, wait, six. Wait, wait. No, no, did you go into siege? I didn't. Oh, so we're just fighting. So I just had to attack six? Yep. Shit. Oh, shit. All right, let's see what we got. So I hit five and six, right? Five and six. Six. All right, one hit. All right. <clears throat> I got not, I got one reroll. Oh, I get rerolls too. Hang on. I get two, I think. Fuck. So this guy goes down to one. Can I attack again? You can. <clears throat> I'm going to do that. But we're going to go to siege. Ah, boo! Boo! Pussy, 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 pussy. All right, let's get Isengard's tower just somewhere over here. Yeah. Yeah. Or thank. It's under siege. All right, we almost got this. All right, your turn. All right. Oh. I am going to attack Rivendell with these guys. Okay. And let me just figure out how I'm going to do it. Oh, yeah, this army does to do it. All right, I'm looking at three dice, four dice with three rerolls. Uh, can I run back, retreat? Uh, Rivendell is a stronghold, so you may, in fact, I will go into siege. Go into siege if you want. All right, guys, we're doing this. We're going under siege. All right, we just got to hold the line, baby. Oh, My turn? Your turn. I'm going to use the Elven Ring. And I'm going to change this uh, into an attack. I'm going to attack this right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go mm -hmm. in. That's five, I think, for me. Yep, two I got for you. two. Uh, wrong dice. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, oh, what were dice. they? Fuck. Uh, it was a, shit, it was a muster, I know the one was. And... Yeah, that muster, too. It was. I think it was just muster, muster. Yeah. Yep. All right, I'm moving in. So you got to get two. And I got five. All right, all right. Nothing. Six, five. That's it. Yes, we're holding on. <laughs> we are taking goddamn mortar by storm. One does not simply walk into mortar. Yes, you do, son. I do it. <laughs> all right, if you can hold this till the end of the round, you win the game. Okay. Get it right there, yeah. And I can't. I'm not one step away, so... <clears throat> So I got one shot. Yeah, that's right, you do. <laughs> one opportunity. Right, because if I try to go to after you, I, I, I got nothing. So <clears throat> I'm going to use both these elven rings to turn both of these musters into uh, army dice. Okay. And we're moving this army one space and then moving it again to attack you. Oh, shit. I go into siege. <clears throat> this is not a stronghold, is it? Yeah, oh, it, it is. is. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. No, I, st I still have one more move. It might be the end. You're right. So wait, you you wait, you use the oh. two rings to turn it into armies, right? Yeah. So I moved one army with my one ring. All right, and that's going to be the army again, right? Maybe. So you have to go. I again. still have to go. So yeah. you moved in. All right. So I so just then... moved here, basically. All right. So then let's 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 do that again. So then we didn't do that attack. Yet. All right. So then all right. So you move one space over. Yeah. Now it's my turn, and I think I'm going to use my ring. Turn that into combat and attack Saruman in the stronghold. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> it's over, baby. Uh, all right. It's... Let's do it. I get one dice. Yeah. Reroll. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Do we have any cards? No Nazgul. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, all my cards have Nazgul. <clears throat> Rohan is coming back. Play with it. Rohan's the goat. Oh, yes, I have this card. Play if an Isengard army unit is in the battle and the defending army is in a stronghold. Yep. Add one to all dice on your combat roll. Okay, you're going to use that. <coughs> uh, what am I rolling here? One, two, three, four. 
Now it's. This is a leader. This is a leader. So you're rolling three. All right, three. When you played that, <coughs> there's no Nazgul. All right. So let's go. Damn it. <clears throat> One's dead. Two of yours are dead. That's it. <clears throat> Wait, no. One, because then Sauron can't be alone, right? Yeah, Sauron's done. All right. We did it. You did we it. did it. We captured. The three people captured three cities, <laughs> which means you have six points. That's right. Three we saw holes. the atrocities in this world. Good job. All right. I'm done with my turn. It's your, You All have right. an army move. That's it. And I that's can't it. even do it. Woo! The free people's the free trial. People win. Whoa, yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. That's what's up. Let's see what Wow, this game's crazy. Huh? It's definitely... Um... It's as long as the extended edition. <laughs> Three and a half hours. It felt thematic. It felt very like... It is true. <clears throat> the map is wonderful. Like, the map is really nice. It has all the areas of Middle Earth, and I didn't even know some of them before playing the game. Yep. <clears throat> Those 3D printed mountains look awesome. Um, these are really cool pieces, but they, because the board is too, like like small already they take yeah. up some spaces once i get the play mat then uh, this will have a lot more room but yeah to be this, fair though this minas tirith model is awesome though look at that this is Shh. these are so dope man that is like this looks like it's hard to make yeah <clears throat> oh yeah, and the elves shit. everyone just held the line yeah. everyone just you took over on. the white tower man that was crazy i walked right in i liked how that one part where i retreated and doubled back around <laughs> like bye uh, did you miss it uh, almost, almost almost you yeah. missed it so missed um it. <clears throat> the northern uh, the Northern Hordes fended off Gandalf's assault. Aragon and Lilith died uh, defending Moria. Yep. Uh, Gimli I killed Gandalf, though, so that was good. Gandalf's still alive. He's still he's still holding out. Oh, you went in siege. That's <clears throat> right. Yeah, the uh, Rivendell pussies went into siege. Strider <clears throat> and uh, Legolas died oh, in, right. in a siege. Right. Gimli is just chilling out over here because he held on. He basically <laughs> walked out of the fellowship. He's like, y'all suck. I'm going to help wake up he's the like, dwarves. Out. Uh, yep. And, um, and then look at this right here. Right here, show the. We took the gates of Moria, baby. We <laughs> took them. Yeah, you did. Gondor came right in there, and that was it. Minas Morgul is now part of Gondor. That was a lot of fun. Couldn't get these guys out there fast enough. Yeah, you did a great job of the pincer move of getting this one, and then I forgot that you were sieging uh, Orthanc. And yeah, yeah. Yeah. Once you get two, there's no way I can defend against two. I so. love general base. Like, this kind of combat, I, I can dig. Just the combat alone is fun. I didn't even care about the fellowship. It's like, yeah. hey, what's the better? Right, let's leave Frodo over there and not let him out of the cage. And then, like, yeah. you know, <laughs> then you don't have to worry about this. Oh, yeah. man. Cool. All right, anyway. All right, let's review this. Oh, well, that's it. I think we're done. I mean, you know, it's uh, <clears throat> if you want to go through a review, we can. We but could, I, I guess. Guys, you want us to go yeah. through a review? Nah. Probably not. It's been three and a half hours. It's been three and a half hours. Just that's my that. only complaint about the game, really, is that, and there's a lot of rules, and that's about it. Yeah, some of the rules of when to move and stuff, I hope we got it all right, but I think we did. I think so. Yeah, so it was fun. Yeah, we'll definitely uh, have to play again once I get the the shadow pieces painted and we get a new bigger play mat for it maybe. But. I kind of like the shadow pieces as red, just because you can, you can definitely see who is who. Yeah, and you can tell what the darkness is. Yep. <laughs> Enjoy it, Red Hood. Yeah, it was a fun <laughs> night. It was a story. It felt like Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Uh, except in this story, Sam and Frodo are basically like, hey, just put them over there and don't put them anywhere near that volcano because mm -hmm. why on earth would you do that? And uh, everyone's separated and no one got right. along. I mean, look at these little guys. They got nowhere. They were they went to Pizza Hut or something. <laughs> They're like, that, ring? Who cares about getting, the ring? They're getting high with Tom Bombadil right now. <laughs> That's all, They never left. And everyone was like, all right, well, this guy's yeah. just smoking weed the whole time. Yeah, they should have just done that. Hey, hang out with Tom Bombadil. He won't corrupt you. Mm, whatever. Right. Uh, all right, whatever. Yeah, Red Hood. The only the I only got the free peoples and all of the characters. <clears throat> so all of the Nazgul and the fellowship pieces and all that stuff. So yeah, but the just the shadow. This is so fucking dope. Look at that shit. Really, yeah. All right, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, I know. I love this. It really came out cool so this was a fucking good game man i just i need to figure out like this is thing now that we played it twice now i understand like you really need to kind of pick a strategy and go with it you can't like flop around because i was 
um, I couldn't get out of the gate. Like I couldn't get a stronghold to save my life. I yeah. thought it'd be easy to just roll right into Gondor. Yeah, you had but the numbers, you guys but defeated. You guys defended really well. Having oh man, I love that. I I, I played it like Dynasty Warriors. Yeah, that was literally <laughs> the move. Every general was a different unit and it's all oh, it was so much fun and yeah. the dwarven mountains are nice and strong again so after this fiasco is over the elves aren't here not so much awesome uh -huh. and there's a whole lot of dwarves living around that's even better so you yeah. know we made middle earth a better place i feel that's right <laughs> yeah i did the figures at the top but i can show you again a little bit here are the these are the riders of rohan and the rohan regulars Whoa. Do, 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 We're here to do. kill you. And then there's the Rohan elite figures. Whoa. So that's Rohan. So the free people said the Rohan dudes, which are these guys. Oh, yeah, drop some. And then the dwarves are here. These are the dwarf elites have some little uh, flags. The dwarf leaders i mean then the dwarf elites are just the same scope with axes and then i love the dwarf normal dudes because they're not they're not even wearing real, like mithril or anything they're just like ah fuck it they're just there to fight well, they know gimli. what they're there for this is a dwarf normal dude oh that's an elite dude where are the dwarf normal dudes oh here they are yeah they're just like a blacksmith they're like uh they're ready to war, go they got the what hammer. war are you talking about i'm just uh screwing around i'm just farming and i know what i'm Where's Gimli people. at? There's Gimli, my man. Yes, my buddy. Yeah. Where are you going? He's the goat right there. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's Gimli. <clears throat> um, I love how the Gondor guys came out because they have these little, the tree of Gondor on pretty much everything. They have them on the flags and they have them on their shields. So yeah, these guys came out pretty cool. And the uh, Guards of Gondor. Woo! They have Yo, that shields. looks cool. That looks nice. All oh, that metal. Yeah. I'll show them the Nazgul. Now I'm coming down. I go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Where did the Witch King go? He's up he here died, somewhere. man. I killed his ass. You did not kill the Witch King. I, I think I. Oh, here he is. Never mind. Yeah, he was, he was coming there. for Gandalf, and then they had a big. <laughs> the Witch King, man. Oh, he just held that line. How he choked Sauron's. Oh, and then, because then we had yeah. a free route to go right into Moria. It's like, hey, Frodo, walk the fuck over there. Get the fuck over there. I was never able to get the mouth of Sauron out because you got to have all of the free people have to be at war for him to come out. So that's kind of a little bit too much. And then, uh, yeah, the, the Northmen are the most worthless people in the world. They, they just, didn't do anything. They, they just, just hung out. They're like, uh, they're going to invade after this is all over. Uh, let's go watch some YouTube. <laughs> And then the elves, yes, you got elves. The elves are the flowery of the bunch. They're the they're the fairy ones. They're but they're the, the first ones at war. They're like, we're going to war. Yep. <sighs> so they got them to war really quickly. Oh, I'm going to war. But my hair has to look good. <laughs> And then who else we have? Gondor, Rohan, Elves, Northmen, and Dwarves. That's it. Oh, yeah. Gandalf and then you Sauron. got the yeah. So then you got the characters. The, wizards. the characters. There's your wizards. Saruman. Remember that part in the movie where Saruman says, "Gandalf, you're a stoner." <laughs> like right to his face. <laughs> your love for the halflings, Leith, has dulled your wits. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh, and then we got Boromir over here. <laughs> I am going to take a lot of arrows in my chest. Whoa. Yeah, he's actually fine. He actually made it through here. Legolas yeah. and Air. And, uh, oh, and then we didn't see, uh, because you would not release... Uh, Mary and, Pippin, uh, yeah, Mary and, and Pippin. Pippin. Yeah, but if you would have released these two, then there would have been no one left in the, uh, in the Fellowship, and then Gollum would have been their guide. Ah, Gollum. Yeah, yeah. Stupid There we go. That's all <laughs> there I got. Go. <laughs> and there you go. So we got all of the companions and the five races. Not bad, man. Oh, there's also one lonely dwarf chilling up there. Uh, that's me in my apartment in Westchester. Look, it's me way up in the north. You all is New York down here. This is my little place up in Westchester. And y'all, you are leaving me alone, and I love it. <laughs> 
It's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, fuck you, I'm watching YouTube. <laughs> All right. Well, that was great, dude. Yeah, that was it. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Sorry it took so long, but we knew it was going to take so long. And <clears throat> Oh, where was Sam? Oh, yeah. Sam and Frodo are here. Sam and Frodo are there. They're best friends forever, so They're we can't we can't forever. pull them apart or they'll get very upset. <laughs> There's your ring bearers, Sam and Frodo. Whoa. In this story. They basically just yeah, they just basically hung out and waited until the army path to be open. <laughs> they, they literally just hung out. Right on, man. All right, cool. Well, thanks, guys. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks, Jerry. It's uh, great to have everyone on for so long. Thank you, Jerry. I, I like my golem impression. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, the free people's won. You <clears throat> son of a bitch! Did it. Evil has been defeated. And now comes Game of Thrones. That's right. I remember. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> J.R.R. Tolkien said that about Aragon. He got the idea because in, in, in Lord of the Rings, it says, and Aragon ruled justly for a long time. And and he's like, no, nah, I'm going to write this out. <laughs> That's basically <laughs> the story of that. Anyway. Um, no, great game. Really cool. good game if you got the time. And, yeah, um, and thanks for joining. We <clears throat> did a little early because we knew it was going to take longer. And man, three hours, 40 minutes. Yeah, that was a long one. Thanks for sticking around, guys. Yep, cool. Thanks, everybody. Have a great week, and we'll see you next week. Night, guys. Happy Labor Day. Have a good night.